partner, Jack Doyle. Jack, it is electric inside this warehouse right now. You can feel the tension, the buzz. How are you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling great. I'm a little nervous. There's a lot of passion. I can barely hear what's going on. There's so much energy, it's palpable. Let's go down to Paxton to figure out how Jimmy's feeling. All right, so Jimmy, last time that Baggage saw Love Yous and Last time the baggage saw Love Yous and Dalton on the mound, he struck you guys out, bases were loaded, and you guys have been on a really bad losing streak since. What is your approach against Dalton and Love Yous pull out a victory to get to Billy? See ball, hit ball. Dalton's really good. He's like, he's like either doesn't throw strikes or he throws the most like dotted, sneaky arm slot strikes. So we'll see, probably try to be patient for a little bit. But uh, yeah, Love Yous is a good team and we're on an absolute stinker. So we'll see uh, how this goes. Best of luck out there. Throw back to the booth. Jimmy likes to keep it simple. See ball, hit ball. But Paxton did bring up a very, very telling stat that Baggage is on a little bit of a losing streak. How much of a losing streak, Jack? They haven't won a game in since Blitzball Battle 2. Circa 2022. The last time they won a game, Jimmy had zero kids. Zero, maybe a half of one. Baby James was a baby. He was a baby little one. We're taking a look at this game here. We're moments away from first pitch. Baggage going up against Lovia's. Paxton is standing by with Nicholas Cassano. Nick, Baggage and Lovias are one and one. You are actually eight for 23 against Jake Sorielli. What is your approach offensively against him and Baggage, and how are you guys going to get to Billy's? Uh, just lock in and be patient up there, but also jump on the first good one that we see. We're going to have a hit parade today. That's how I feel. How do you think Dalton's going to be on the mound? I think once he gets the first like four or five pitches out of his system, kind of calms him down, I think he's going to mow everybody down. I'm excited for that. Love that. Best of luck out there. Back to you in the booth. Thank you, Paxton. Nikki Cass, very confident. Uh, the group chat this morning titled Road to Billy's was absolutely on fire. And Nicholas Cassano was very aggressive towards me. He was aggressive towards others. Very confident guy. They're 2-0 right now. They're sitting pretty. I don't want to say they punched their ticket into Billy's, but they're looking pretty good right now standing atop the stand. You, you can say they punched their ticket, and by the end of this stream, they could be undefeated and be no doubt about it one seed. Or they could be 2-2 two and, two and a little nervous. We're going to go to the stats right now, and boy, do I have a lot of them. And they're not really that great for baggage. We talk about how they haven't won a game since game one of Blitzball Battle 2. That was August of 2022. Coincidentally, baggage beat Lovias in that game 5-4. to four. And Dalton Feely told me before the game that it was his first time playing in a Blitzball game with Nick Cassano. So maybe this is what baggage needs. We heard Jake before the game saying, this needs to be the return of baggage. It has to be the return of baggage. Jake has lost 10 games in a row in the warehouse. Liz, these are not great numbers for baggage, but as we know in baseball, as we know in blitzball, it's a game of averages. Eventually, things are going to tip to the side of baggage, right? Right? You would have to think. You would think so, right? You would think that, we, that baggage would pick up a win here in one of these games eventually. That's going to be Jake on the mound. The X factor is the pitching. Baggage, baggage can throw the bat on the ball, but can they get through one inning without giving up five runs? Guys, look at that in your lower third of your screen. Two beautiful oh. men that you could see on October 1st at Billy's because Blitzball Bits is heading to Billy's for the playoffs. Thanks to our live event sponsor, DraftKings and Scott's Miracle Pro. Come watch the semifinals and championship live on October 1st at Billy's Sports Bar in the Bronx. Doors open at 11 a.m. First pitch is at noon. Tickets are on sale right now through, to, through September 30th. Kids are allowed, so bring your entire family. General admission tickets are $30, but I want to talk to you about these early access tickets. I get questions all the time, and I'm sure you get them too, Jack. When can we come hang out with you guys? When can we be part of content? You can do that at Billy's on October 1st. $100 gets you inside uh, Billy's at 10 a.m. You can choose your seat, commemorative t-shirt, early access badge, and the best part, enter it into a raffle to be part of content. You can be part of We Got Ice for one day. So come out to Billy's on October 1st. Let's have some fun and let's have a blast. It's going to be a blast. If anyone comes and buys a ticket, I'll sign some balls. I'll lick some balls. I'll, what? I'll play the blitz balls, and I'll play, we'll play some games, beating that bat, have some fun. But this game matters, as we said before, so let's go see how much it really does matter down to Paxton. Down to me? Okay. We've got the DraftKings stats right here. As you can see, Lovias is leading, and as you can see, Baggage is in last 
place. Baggage really does need to pull out a victory with this right now. So a lot of pressure on Jake Soriali at the mound. And so let's see if he pulls it out. Don't forget, brought to you by DraftKings. Use code WAREHOUSE whenever you download that app. Back to you guys. Predictions, Jack. How are we feeling about this? We told you about baggage and their lack of victories. Love you sitting at top. Common conventional wisdom would say love you is in a rout. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? I mean, part of me, the heavenly good side of me, is probably saying it has to be baggage's time. Like, they need it. This is, if you're ever going to root for the underdog, you you got to pick baggage now. But Nikki Cass has been so locked in on the bump at the plate. Dalton looks very calm, which is a scary thing. I'm going love you. I am going with baggage. You're going to pull off a miracle, and it's going to be right in front of our eyes. Paxton. Tell us how you're feeling about this game. I mean, I am standing right next to Lovia's, so I feel like I have to say them. But honestly, even if I wasn't, I'm going to pick Lovia's. They're a more complete team. I love Jimmy and Jake. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. They're my bosses. But Lovia's is here to win, and I think that they're going to pull out the victory. Love that. If anyone cares, I want to tell you about my day today. I'm calling this game, obviously. I'm playing in the next game. Today I'm back in the booth for game three, and then I am playing in game four. Not only that, I'm going up against Lovia's end to my right, my color guy right here, Jack, my nemesis, the man I see in my dreams, in my nightmares. We start facing each other in the booth, and then we face each other on the mound and at the plate. I am I'm juiced up. I am old game. man Dan. I'm going to start barking. They're really putting me through the rigor today. We are really, really going to see what old man Dan has, but it's not about me. This is about love yous and baggage. The buzz in this arena right now inside of this warehouse is palpable. Week two is moments away. The road to Billy's is paved here I in New Jersey. I got deuce bumps. I got deuce bumps and deuce pimples and chills. All of that? You might oh, have to see a doctor. I have all of them, and I think it's terminal. All right, so we got Jake Storielli on the hill. He chips his cap to the crowd. Oh. To his friend, Nikki Cassano. Nikki was an absolute dog in week one. Numerous hits. 63 pitches on the mound. And Jake Stinks starts things off with a 35-mile-an-hour yacker that catches by. I can't believe he started the game with that, and I can't believe it hit the zone, and I can't believe Nikki didn't swing, and Jimmy ran in from the infield. I don't know Dude, what's going on. I swear this game is not scripted, but that's some scripted. That's some scripted type These of These script writers, man. The 01. So Jake goes from 35 to 71. How I'm going to feel at the end of today. Yes. Spiked it at 71. Good sign for how hyped up Jake is. Next to Rally, last time he was on the bump, he was giving up a walk-off home run to Jolly. So he's got a lot to prove. Spikes another one. He kind of does that a lot. He'll throw a strike, and then I'll spike two in the dirt. To the cement, I guess. The 2-1 from Jake Storielli. Mm. Up and in. 3-1 count here. These are one-inning games. I want to keep that in mind. So it's essentially the top of the ninth right now. So every pitch means something. Every count means Every movement means something. I think it got a piece of Blitzball guy. It almost hit his girlfriend. The ball hit the inventor of the ball. That is just how things are arise. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. He is okay. okay. That's our guy, Aaron. He'll live. He's the best. We think he'll live. Punches one foul. Kind of jammed him there. 3 2. It's a huge pitch. You don't want to get into a 4 2 count. Taps the, the mount and he lets it go and it's low and away. Four and two. If you're tuning in for the first time, five balls or a walk. You got to keep that pitch under 70 miles an hour and not if it's over 73, it's a ball. Right? Yes. Thank you. Correct. Man. Correct. Full count. Soriali. Rips it. Off it. the wire hanging in the rafters where a baggage banner may be hanging right with it very soon. Jimmy O'Brien will tell you that baggage never gets a break. Take a look at the replay there. In the right place at the right time, they never get breaks. They have they a lot of balls breaks. go the wrong way and that one landed almost right in the bread basket of Jimmy O'Brien. I love that fielding mechanism where you go down to the knees. One inning game. Momentum is everything. Getting Nikki out in a lucky way is so big for this game. Yeah. Story Alley. Low in the way. Almost offers. 4-2. Clearly a ball. That's
that's a big swing. That's a runner on first, no outs to an out. Wide stance by Feely. Really trying to drive the ball on the pull side. Up and in. And we move to 3-0. and oh. Tell you what, early on, Storiali is not finding the zone. One strike, and it has it was a 30 mile per hour looper. Spiked a lot of fastballs in the dirt. Subsequently, I think that's when you. I think, is that a word? Uh, uh, there it is, drilled. That's a double. That a is two a double. bagger for Dalton Feely on a 3-0 count. He goes up there swinging, and Lovius takes back a little bit of that momentum. Jack, the warehouse was swept up in emotion. <laughs> Bid. Big hit by Feely. If you combine the two exit VLs on those two hits, it's probably in the 200. That's a vintage Dalton Feely laser. Yeah. He has really good numbers off of me, and I've seen that. Like, he's snapped my neck numerous times. Jake just needs to find a way to let soft contact happen. Big cut from Cassano, the type of swing you want to take on an OL count. Story Alley. Shaking his head, feeling good. Last time these two teams faced off, Jimmy did pitch, so a little bit of a new look, but seems like they're already all over him. That was so long ago, August 2022. Narrowly misses. Narrowly or narrowly? Narrowly. What does the chat say? Where's the chat? Where is everyone watching yeah. from? Let's oh. hear it from the chat. That was really close. Like, very, I'm surprised there's not a replay. But both teams agreed. 1-1. One, one. There's that high one again, and it falls in, but... That is zone one, zone which is one. an automatic foul ball. Foul. It can be caught for an out, but if it is, Did doesn't Story land. Did really give up on it? No, it came no, down too fast. No, it was too fast. He's athletic. We saw that Savannah Bananas catch. Oh, yeah. He runs like a baby warthog. So Savannah's going after that high one. If I was Story Riley, I'd avoid that. Have it low and away. Wow. Beautiful pitch. Dials up a beauty. Foul tips it into the zone, which indicates that he is out. That's a massive, massive out for Story Alley. Let's take a look at that. What did that ball do? I think it was supposed to be a baby cutter. A he didn't change foul. Up. I was wrong. He didn't foul. He just piped it. What a pitch. And what a great shot of Nicky there. He looks good. He looks like a, a 10. He is beach right now. He just wants the beach. Two outs, man on second. Over 70 mile an hour. 71. That's a great speed from Jake. That's a review, at 5 folks. p.m. Those usually get edited out. I saw some comments saying that they would like to see the reduce. Mm. So they're looking for three-hour game. This is authentic Blitzball right here. Blitzball Blitz live. Keep that bat down, Feely. Hit the drafting sign. This is a big at bat. It's a one-inning game. So when you are the away team, it is imperative to score first. Get that lead and then throw up a zero on the board and go home. It but just don't hit go me. Home, but play There's again. two outs and a runner in scoring position. A double here, and I mean, it's a one nothing game. It's a huge knock if Dolan can pull it off. Big swing. Balls up, Feely. Jake there it is. Goodness. Wow. Wow. This baggage who never gets any breaks. Gets two big breaks, and Story Alley's with the fans. Return of Jake. Dude. I mean, he got... Look baggage at this break back. here. His Two balls back. that fell right into their arms. I mean, he got knocked around and they escaped. But you got to feel good at this point. They haven't won. He hasn't won in 10 games. That's got to feel so good. I don't want to say I'm Nostradamus. I am very good with my picks and homer picks and, and talking yanks. I said something crazy is going to happen for baggage and, and they're going to win the game. This is brought to you by DraftKings. NFL fans hungry for a big win this week. We've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, and they have you covered. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's, it's that simple. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using promo code WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, no problem. You can still get in on the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code and ending to that inning. Jack, you're a good reader. Thanks. I always love popcorn reading. Did you do popcorn reading? What is that? Um, when, like, in class, you read something and then you yes, just pick on another you. kid. Yes, I was good at that. I like that. And then look at us, reading at work. That wasn't a phenomenal inning. Baggage needed something like that. They needed, they needed the, the, that. the Blitzball gods to, to finally go in their favor for once. Jimmy gets the first out, 
Jake, the first pitch with that yacker, two outs off of the ceiling. Jake runs into the crowd. He's amped up. And now, for once, how about a, how about a baggage walk-off? They need it. They're the home team. Being the home team in a one-in game is so big. Because right now, this is a huge moment. They need a win. It's the bottom of the ninth. And a, one run wins it. And they are facing Feely, who hasn't pitched in a while. He has can sometimes have difficulty finding the zone. And I think the momentum for the first time in maybe a year has swung onto the side of baggage. Guys, we got four games today. This is just game one. Coming up next, hook line versus uh, uh real hook line versus uh, we got ice pinch up strong versus baggage and love is versus hook line. But we're let's talk next. about the one. Yeah, we're playing against each other next. But let's talk about right now. One zero count. Jake Storiali can end this game with one swing of the bat, folks. And he swings a little late. He wanted late. to. He wanted to. We've seen a lot of swings at high pitches so far today. And we've seen a lot of balls onto the ceiling. So my analysis, don't swing at the high pitch. Jimmy and Jake are combined 7 for 11 off of Dalton Feely. Only three strikeouts. Jake looks ready to mash. Confident one, one Rocky. One Feely. Oh. He's going to want that one back. That was middle, middle. He looks confident, not pitching without his glasses. He wanted us to know that. The one two from Philly. Oh. 71, that is a redo. If it was a strike. Right, why do I, come on. Over 70 miles an hour is. A redo if it's a strike. Over 73. A ball no matter what. Thank you, Jeff. Not the even drafting sign. That's the second time today, and that means something. We don't know yet. I will give you a free pick. Boxing pick. I'm good at those. 3 2 here. This is important. Bottom of the first. This is a one inning league, so it's essentially the bottom of the ninth. Outside. Oh. The one thing about Dalton Feely is he tends to lose the zone. He does tend to lose it, like a bad dog owner who lives in a busy street. That checks out. I don't know if that made sense. The full count from I'm Dalton Feely. Low and oh, away. Oh. We have a runner on first. Baggage has all the momentum here, folks. They need a win drastically. We talked about their Jake Storielli hasn't seen a win in, in decades. Baggage hasn't seen a win since August of 2022. We'll see if Feely can clutch up here, but... They need a win. Not Feely close. has lost his own. Baggage might have walked into a great situation where Lovius has two games, Baggage has two games, Nicky's not pitching this game, and Baggage needs a win. Let's see if they can pull it off. Big cut there from Jimmy O'Brien. He's grinning right now. That ball was very high. Take a look at the replay here. Those high ones, you can get a hold of those. Those things travel. Just ask Jolly Olive. He sent a high pitch into orbit last week for my beloved hook line sinkers. You want to get that barrel extension and just let the ball do the work, but sometimes it's too tempting. That's a beauty of a pitch. See, if Dalton Philly can live right there, Jack, he's money. He lives on the corners. Listen, That's a nice pitch. Beautiful. When I face Dalton Philly in like scrimmages and training sessions, he's nasty. Yeah. He has so much potential inside of him. Just got to unlock it. He's like a raised like bullpen guy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jimmy strikes out and Baggage has one out. Let's take a look at that just for a final speed check, but I believe that was good. What just a nasty white yeah, sinker there. there. Wait, here it is. 68. Registered at 68. That is a legal wow. pitch. He made Jimmy's other hand just fling off the bat. What a strikeout. Here comes Jake Story Alley. One swing of the bat. Gets them closer to Billy Sports Bar. 69 miles an hour in on the groin of Story Alley. Dalton's got to dig deep here. Getting out of this would be just backbreaking for baggage. They had all the momentum going off that wonderful top of the inning. Miss me, Jack. If you were up at the plate right now, you see Feely kind of missing the zone, but if he does, he kind of puts one over there. You swinging? I think you got to take and you got, until you got one or two strikes. It's a little bit more of a boring brand of blitz ball, but it's a winning brand. There it is. Swung on and tapped foul. It's Lorenzo funny says though. a little late. <laughs> <laughs> it's good advice from the crowd. Crowd is awesome. How about the crowd? Let's hear it for them. The crowd's electric tonight. I see Sales Lucas. Don't call him that. He's analytical Lucas. I see Sales Luke. 
Pinstripe Strong has like three fans here. And a Lucas. Three more than me. And a, and a little Lucas. And a Lucas. Oh, beauty. Wow. A beauty. Almost like a change-up yacker. Dropped him to his knees, but he's not proposing. What a pitch. That's filthy. Wow. That's Ray's bullpen filthy. <laughs> a 2-2 two -two from Dalton Feely. Really needs an out. Oh. Wow, he went for the knuckle, kind of snapped it off. I think I just heard him say cocks and bolts. I didn't hear that at all. Maybe my hearing's gone. Big fish here. Down, bottom of the first. It's into the bottom of the ninth. Can Story Alley do it? Oh! oh he's off. It's huge. A Big full time take. Count here. This is intense. This, this is the thing about Blitzball Blitz. These one inning games, it's just like ratchet it up. You have no feeling out process. It's just boom, go. One run wins it, and then we're playing next game. Oh, no. Down. There it is. Down. Another walk from Feely. I, I mean, Jake is working great at bats. He's on the 3-2 pitch. I think Dalton made the pitch he wanted to make, but it shouldn't just happen. And again, this is all to go to Billy's. So buy your tickets. This is electric. That brings Sounds Jimmy O'Brien up to the plate. A 1-0 count. Feely has completely lost his own. He's got two walks in this inning. Jimmy's got to take, but then, I don't know, man. I, I like being aggressive. I swing a lot. You know that, Jack? Yeah. But you got to work to count. Take a strike. Kind of forgot Nicky was out there in the infield. Kind of quiet. Wow. There it is. Wow. Loa left quadrant. There it is. There's Cass. You can just dial up that. It's like a banana swerve. I'm telling you, man, he pulls out some pitches that are just unhittable. His arm angles is very low. Another one. Wow. 68 Bang. miles an hour with run under the hands, and O'Brien is down 1-2. Now, if you're the pitcher here, do you go back to it? Jimmy's swing has looked pretty rough. I would go for the same pitch. He does have a slider. Just but throw strikes, Felix. The best pitch and let it fly. He does. Just, Just low. low. Narrowly, narrowly, narrowly hits pipe. And at 71, so it would have been a redo if it was a strike. One swing of the bat. This this arena is ready to explode yes. for baggage. If there's a walk up, Jake might do something crazy. Rip his shirt off. Oh, wow. In on the hands, swung through. Jimmy O'Brien is down with two outs here. Take a look at this. The ball's there, and it almost Oof. looks like by the time Jimmy wants to swing, the ball's vanished, and he just kind of... All he can do is throw his hands at it and pray. It's down to Jake Storiale before we go to the bat off. Wow. What a moment. Two outs, man on second, double wins the game. That's a redo. A redo, a great pitch. Unfortunately, we have a speed limit inside this warehouse because we value offense. Offense gets eyeballs on the streams. That's what they always say. Eyeballs get the speed on the streams. Put that on my team. Get that bat down, Story Alley. I think that's the slider he's going to. That he just doesn't have a feel for today. We've seen a lot of two seams. One pitch, I find one pitch that's working. If I, if I can't find his own, just keep going with it. He goes with it. 2-0? 3-0? It is 2-0. Good hitters count here. A nice, healthy swing from Story Alley. A double wins the game. This is... I'm nervous. Oh, how shit misses. Three and all. Right. I'm telling you, every pitch, it gets bigger and bigger. The tension rises. Don't want to go to 4 0. Oh. Then you walk and you get bases loaded and you got nowhere to put them. A walk and the game. Oh. This 3 0 pitcher, this is the pitch of the game. Here it is. Jake's got to swing big. There it is. At what point do you maybe think about bringing in Nikki, or is it just, hey, we're 2 0? We're in a good spot. We got to get Feely ironed out. It's always good to have two pitchers. If you need a single, Jimmy is your guy. But with Jake at the dish right now, and it's 4 0, I think you, you can't throw a strike here. Uh, yeah, I'd sail one. Doesn't. Throws a strike. He pipes one. <laughs> All right. He heard us and said, no. I'm Dalton Feely, damn it. It's The momentum's now switched back two strikes, and we're going to extra innings, which is not bad off. 
chanting Dalton Feely's name, a 4-1 count here. Cannot afford to put him on. He has three walks, two walks in the inning. He yells out an expletive, and the bases are loaded for Jimmy O'Brien, who has struck out twice in this inning. Dalton seems like he has that sidearm locked in. Even when it's a ball, it's running last minute and inducing swing and misses. And every time he seems to go over the top or with a slider, it's not even really close. So with Jimmy here, I think you've got to give him three of those nasty sinkers. Hopefully you hit the zone a couple times and then 0-2, get him swing and missing. What a moment. Two down, bases loaded. This is, this is what it's all about. This is what Blitz Ball Blitz is all about. It is bases loaded. It is the bottom of the ninth. There were two outs. A walk ends the game. A single ends the game. Anything ends the game besides an out. Jimmy oh. swings on it. It's fouled off. Jimmy went up there saying, I'm swinging. Fouled straight down. If that has a different direction of bounce, that could have been the game. I kind of like that approach. Swing. You got to swing to hit the ball. Swing. If Lovius can come out and squeak out a win with the 13th overall Blitzball player in the nation in the field, how big would that be for Dolan? Oh, wow. Was that a slider? It was a ball. Is what it was. <laughs> it was a ball. 1-1 one, one count. Baggage is laughing. Baggage is laughing. They're still loose. They're loose, but I think they're the type of loose that they're really nervous, actually. Like nervous smiles? Nervous smiles, yeah. Oh, is that a thigh? Is that a knee, maybe? He wore that one. I mean, that, that ball almost got out. <laughs> I've seen home runs like that off the bat of Joe's McFarland. 2-1 count. You could see Dalton kind of let off a little bit to, to get that over the plate, and Jimmy missed a big one. That he missed a big fat one. Fat pitch. He missed a big one. 2-2 two, two count. Bottom of the ninth. Deadlocked. No something score. To, something to look for right now. nate has got to be ready to make a play in the field. He's on his heels. I think that hit, but that's 70. 70 miles an oh, hour. Oh, wow. That's a redo, folks. Would that have been a strikeout? Yes, it would have. It's a pipe. It's that a redo. Was the, his probably best pitch of the game and the biggest moment, but his one mile per hour too fast, a yes. backbreaker for Love I'll tell you, those redos are brutal when you're on the 2-2. Oh. I'm telling you, every pitch, the tension builds. 3-2 count. Five balls as a walk here inside the warehouse. A little lower lumbar stretch on the mound there. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Could Philly. be an intimidation tactic. The 3-2 from Philly. Oh! Dots it on the... Down to his knees. His head just hit the cement. That is crazy. Guys, everyone is standing inside this warehouse. It is a full count. Bases loaded. This could be the game right here. A ball wins the game for their first win in over a year. They're swung on. Nikki makes the play. play. Nikki yes. makes the play. Jack, you said Nikki needed to make a play. He needed to. And he did. Unbelievable drama here inside of the warehouse. We go to an at bat off. I'm going to throw up. Wow. Dolan escapes the jam. Unbelievable drama here. Jimmy puts a bat on it. An inch to the left, an inch to the right. Baggage has their first win since the Obama administration. <laughs> Dolan escapes the jam like toast that doesn't want to get eaten. And now we're going to the at-bat off. Folks, we had a lot of at-bat offs last week. Love is one, two of them. They are no stranger to this format. Yeah. But in case you are, tell us about the at-bat off. The yeah. at-bat off is our version of extra innings, so it doesn't just keep going forever and ever. So basically, each batter on each team is going to get one at-bat. What they do, if they get a base, that's one base, doubles, two bases, homer, four, and et cetera. Total bases will be added up per team. Most total bases will win the game. But the one caveat, if I may use that word, there are no walks. No walks. And limited balls, so the pitcher just has to outpitch the hitter. And the hitter has to get a single, a double, a homer, just put total bases on the board. And we see Jake back on the bump. He is there pitcher in this extra inning and will we see Dalton or will we see Nikki? I don't know. We don't know yet. Do you still have <laughs> faith in Dalton after um, that clutch performance or do you slam the door, bring Nikki in and just deflate baggage's air? Deflate that bag. Deflate the bag. I'm not the manager of Lovius. Um They have a pretty good vibe going. They've known each other they since do. birth. Yeah, um, brothers. 
we'll see. But they got to get bases. It's all about total bases. Both guys hit. And here we go. At bat off number one of the day. These are intense. So quiet in here. Hi. Nikki lays off that. Uh, and right. now we're seeing Joe's McFly, who looks like Anakin after he was just turned to the dark side. Are those those, like, Nike those lenses? Are eyes. No, my friends, I, back in when I played college ball, I had a friend who wore those. There was almost, like, cheap. Oh, like... They gave everything, like, an amber tint. Interesting. And I'm pretty sure they got, like, banned. Joe's is cheating. Joe's may be cheating. Take let, him off. Let the allegations begin. Not the first time Joe's cheated. That is swung on it. Oh! kidneys and other organs. He Paxton, landed right can you on run him. out there to him? Paxton, can you get to him? Ask him something about his liver. Jake, Jake, Jack Doyle wants to know, how is your kidney, how is your liver, and how is your overall mentality? So, instant reaction because the adrenaline's still going. Knee feels something. Okay. We're okay. Good, good. But, uh, <laughs> baggage is back. Let's go. Baggage is back. Folks, there's something in the air. There's something in the air inside this very stifling warehouse. Catnip, maybe? Team Baggage has three web gems. Take a look at this play. Oh my god, Odell, shades of Odell Beckham. Shades of Odell. It's almost like he went for the two hands. Then he said, actually, I only need one hand. The other hand is just a decoy and palms it. Guys, Baggage has to win this game. They need to. Come on. Is it worse if they lose this? Is this all or not? It's debilitating if they lose. Wow debilitating if they lose this game. But the thing about Blitzball, when you're on the mound and you make a great play like that, you gotta flush it and just get strikes. You do. Jake on the mound after making a diving catch. Can he dial in some strikes to get Feely out? Great pitch there from Storielli. Top part of the strike zone. One strike wow. against Feely. Reminder, there are no walks. There, It's just throw as many strikes as you can yeah. until you get a hit. And Nikki got zero bases, so Dalton really needs at least a base. Swung on and missed. That's, I don't think that's a swing you want to put on a 66 mile per hour fastball. The momentum yeah. swings in this game. It's crazy. What an opening game. Every opening game is just an instant classic. I swear we don't have scripts here. That's the NFL. We don't have scripts. Two strikes for Story Alley. No, he did not. I don't, I don't hate that pitch. No, I mean... There's no ball, so you gotta get him chasing. You don't really want to throw one down the middle here. A double would be huge. A little cheap double. Schist misses. He's low. coming a little more closer and closer to that bottom pipe. <laughs> that one was a little out. The last one was a little further out. That's the story alley classic. Just that short arm, fastball, bottom bar, 68. Single. A single for a Dalton single. Philly. That's huge. That brings Cassano's up. Not coming out. Cassano's coming out to the field. He's going to come to the mound. That's what I wanted. That's big what I wanted. decision here. Big decision here. So Baggage can win with two total bases. So two singles, one from each of them. If Jimmy strikes out, then Jake gets a double. They just need two total bases to win. And we do see Nicky on the bump. Guys, Nicky Cassano is on the bump. He threw 63 pitches last week. Wow. He's had... A full week to recover. He was really, really dominant last week. The most dominant I think I've ever seen a pitcher in the warehouse. I and that is a big thing to say. He's 13th overall in the nation for a reason. He is. Was 12. Recently moved down a peg. I, I talked after last week's. Uh, but right before the game. And we were questioning how that would affect his mental health. But he, <laughs> he pulled through. Guys, uh, you can feel the electricity inside of this building. Just imagine being live watching this live you could do that october 1st at billy's sports bar in the bronx we're playing blitzball at billy's a lot of people ask me is it just a watch party no we're playing actual games you can watch us play games at billy's tickets are on sale right now go get them the environment there is going to be crazy i have i'm like i think about it. every so often throughout my day i'm working i'm living my life i'm like oh i'm playing in a, a game of billy's in front of the yeah. it's going to be a historical moment for the company yeah. a historical moment for you guys if you come here's the first pitch now <laughs> 
That's that pitch we saw a lot last weekend. It looks like it's going to hit you, and it takes a massive right turn. Cover your kid's eyes and sell the family dog. That went over his head and just hit the top ball. Bar. Those pitches are illegal. They're illegal in 30 states. Is he using Joe's red contacts to like get a little extra feel on the ball? I'm We're reaching out straws here, but I don't know. That oh. slider is nasty. It's gross. It's yucky, gross, nasty stuff. Once again, two strikes on Jimmy O'Brien. Does he just, does he whip another slider? He shouldn't throw a strike. He's 0-2 in the at-bat off. I threw a slider and I saw it behind him. He just looks like a menace up there. This is a straight fastball. I hate that pitch call. You don't like that pitch from him? No. Slider speeds up the bat, but it's also his best pitch. I throw it behind him. Slider behind him. There it is. Wow. It's unhittable. That, it's an unhittable that pitch. That caught a lot of glass, and it's still unhittable. It just has so much tilt on it. Take another look right. at it. So here we go. It feels like it's the game of Jake. Can he end the game with a double, tie it with a single? It is all down to Jake. He made a diving catch to save the game. Can he hit a double? I'm nervous. Could this be the Jake game? The Jame. Ooh. The thing with Cass that's so impressive is throw everything hard. Yeah. Everything hard. Like the ball shouldn't move when you throw it that hard. Outstanding work from our umpire, Justin Pennick. He just, he whips the slider so hard. You don't think it should be legal. That Two good takes there. Like a, kind of a semi-curve there. A baby curve? Uh, maybe a, maybe a burv. Wow. Big swing for Story Alley. That's fine, Interesting though. swing. Take um, a swing like that, though. I'd like to take a look at that. I mean, that pitch is crazy. It's unhittable. That was a golf swing from Story Alley. Yeah, I, I thought it was maybe a good swing, but I don't think it was. It started I think it was off that gross as that, of a pitch. Right, it started off as, I'm going to make a good swing, and then at the end of it, it was that looks like a five iron. Oh, just missed there. Now, the rules of the at-bat off is you want to be somewhat gentlemanly, because there is no balls. You want to throw as many strikes as you can. You want to try. But Nikki's got to be careful here. Throws it up at the radar. Nikki has control of this at-bat. He can't just throw one in there. Sometimes in this situation, I'll just throw a riser down the middle for no reason, and it burns me. Fouls it off. I believe that let's was a, 70. Let's get a replay on that. Let's get a replay on that. 70 on the, on the swing. Let's take a look at the speed. 70 Seven. on the pitch. Yes. That's a redo, folks. That is a redo, folks. Folks. I'm going to be a folks guy. Fouled off, almost takes off the legs of Kevin Hargrave. There are two strikes. Jake needs at least one base to send this to a double swing off, double overtime. Because I'm seeing a lot of frogs, a lot of frogs in the chat. Are there frogs in the chat? Frogs in the chat. Jake got married, so I don't have to, says Matt Williams. <laughs> That's how it works these days. Big two fish. Strikes. That's wow. a good take. 73 dialing it up here. Again, no balls, only strikes in this swing off. Fouls it down. He fouled into the zone. I believe that hit the ground first. Scoriali stays alive. Knuckle drop caught a lot of glass. A lot of glass, and he, he went straight down. You got the cement here. Jake's thinking slider. Nikki's thinking slider. That's Does he give it and throw it? So much tension here. Wow. 70 again. A running slider. Look at us. So much tension up here. So much tension. We get a play right after this pitch, maybe. I don't know how I'm going to play a game after this. Yeah, so that's a redo, though. Redo. miles an hour. Nikki Cusano, muscles an hour an hour. I can't keep him in check. Wow. A 70 mile per hour slider. That's gross. That reminds me of, like, peak Roger Clemens when he threw a splitter for 90 miles an hour. If Jake can get a double here, I'll be so impressed. Wow, that one got away. That one got away. A double wins the game. A double wins the game. A homer wins the game. Homer wins the game. A double wins the game. A single ties the game. Single ties the game. That was close. That felt close. I almost made a noise. Uh, like that. It's a pitch from Cassano. And another defensive swing. No! From Story Alley. Listen, I come from the boxing world. Story Alley is up against the ropes. 
That was so close. 64 top pipe. Story Alley just throws a barrel on it. That's an impressive swing. Okay. Cass is working out some, some demons on that mound. Trying to find a good ball to throw. Trying to find the zone. There's trying been to two keep strikes. it underneath. Been That's two strikes for a while. We have a speed on that. That looked like it was a changeup. I think that's a redo. I don't know though. Can we take a look at the replay? Let's take a look. 67. Nope, 67. That's a win. A that miss. is a win. This game is over. Love yous wins once again for baggage. How do you recover from a loss like that? I mean, I don't want to be a pessimist. Pessimist. <laughs> but I think that's a more of a heartbreaking game than to just get blown out. Jake puts his heart on the line, has the best catch of his life maybe, is really dominant on the bump, but they can't get a hit. Guys, I'm speechless. Paxton is standing by with winner and a loser. I'm here with both of them, but I'm just supposed to be here with Jimmy right now, so step out. Thanks. Jimmy, heartbreaking game. You guys have one more today. How are you going to boost morale for baggage and, and try to end up beating Pinstripe to stay in this to get to Billy's? Oh, morale's pretty high for Jake. I'm, I'm a bit of an anchor right now, so I don't know what I got to do. Uh, but I think that was a good game. I mean, we had some bounces go our way. Jake battled. I just sucked. So we're halfway there. So we actually had someone in the chat ask if you were going to go watch some film after this game. Well, what is your response to that? No, it's a, well, no, I'm not on camera. That's true. That's true. Uh, thanks, Jimmy. Uh, Dalton, come on over. Ooh. Dalton, first of all, uh, we had some uh, questions in the chat about you. Me? Yeah, I do. about you. So this one was uh, my favorite from Tim exclamation point. Okay, what's Dalton been working on? on the mound because he looks so sharp. What's your response? I think my biggest thing is self-confidence. I'm very confident and positive to everybody else, but I, I put myself down too much. I think that's a big thing. And then mechanically, I put my hands here rather than trying to hide the ball because I'm not as worried about them trying to see what I'm trying to throw. Okay. So Love Yous is in a great spot right now. Mentally, I mean, also in the standings. How are you guys going to pull out another win today and go 4-0? and oh. We're going to fight and adapt. I mean, me and Nick have energy first pitch to last pitch. Uh, we've played three games swing offs. We've all won of those, luckily. We just got to keep on doing it, have that same mindset, and Love Yous. I love that. Back to you guys in the booth. We've got a new set. If my elbow goes, so be it. We're You're here. snapping, Chris. I was snapping him. I, and there was nothing There was nothing anybody could do about it, but hell of a fight <sighs> oh, on good. both we got, sides. We got the replay, got replay coming. coming here. Look at this. So, yeah, right there. That's the final pitch. Yeah, right there. Yep. And you know what I, I did? I gripped the slider. Up. You could probably see. Now you can't really see it, but I gripped the slider, and at the last second I said to myself, and eh, throw the fastball, and then I just let it kind of fly. And that's what we got from that. What were you thinking up there on that last pitch? Um, in f so your last slider was a really good one that I fended off. So I thought you'd go fastball, right? Because I was you threw a oh, bunch were, of sliders. You were expecting that. I, you threw like you threw the slider you were looking for the pitch before. Yeah. yeah. So yes. I was like, I think he's gonna go fastball. Yeah. Um, and then you did, but dude, that dipped. Yeah, and and it was much <laughs> it was much slower than the normal throw. I I mean I, I don't know. Um, but we're going back uh, to the packs for the standings. Oh, that looks good over there. Yeah, it does. The standings look good. Dra brought to you by DraftKings. Use code warehouse. Going to start off with that because that's the most important part. But, Nikki, it's good to see you right here. Love yous. Mm. I want to mm. be the one to tell you. Mm. Guaranteed trip wow. to mm. Billy's with this standing right now. And the baggage, Jake, I'm sorry. It's not looking good. But you got one more game today. So... Let's let's pull some things together and maybe move up in the standings and get the morale up. We like that. So brought to you by DraftKings, use code warehouse. Back to you guys in the booth. So we are gonna take some chat questions. Thank you, Pax and Nikki. I'll let I'll let you see what you like on here. We're good with technology and iPads. We're not sweating down here. Yeah. And there wasn't a replay of the catch. Perfect. Let's take some questions. Yeah, let's do it. So Tim, <laughs> hey, what's the team called baggage? Oh, why is the team called Baggage? Oh, Good so question. there's a, there's an old TV show. Oh, we do have a replay of the catch. Oh. That's weird. That's weird. 
Um, oh, and another angle of it. I mean, just Look athleticism. Oh, dude, when I, it was almost like I, I, you know what my first thought was? What? He's got super glue on his hand. On his hand. <laughs> He's got to have super glue or something because the way it just kind of. Look at this, ready? Right there, boom, just stuck. And you, you look so great when you're like majestic, <laughs> like flying through the air. Flying and, salami. And just, just a flying piece of meat. That's not what I would say. But anyway, so Team back, baggage. To, back to Tim. It's a, it's a game show. Uh, we, we've done a lot of kind of watching content with it on our uh, uh, JJ TV. I think those vids are still up. Uh, silly game show, a dating show. Me and Jimmy had a lot of fun. Used to be a late night show for us, and now look. Let's do another quick one. Nikki, uh, do any of the pitchers get blisters due to blitz ball from Mark? No. Nah. Nope. No. Nope. No. So we got a big one coming up here. We got we. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just looked at Jack. <laughs> and if we can get a shot on Jack yeah. really quick. Jack's an interesting. <laughs> he, he's, he, uh, he looks like. He, I don't even know, but we got we got ice coming up with hook, line, sinker. Uh, I don't really know how to feel about this one. There's a good shot of Jack. Look at him. What <laughs> goes through his head? Dude, I don't know, man. Who, um, what do you like here, Nick? I like, I, you know, I really like a Dan Canobio home run in this game. I don't want to get wow. greedy, but let's send it down to Pax and get something from Zoe here. All right, so Jack Doyle's taking the mound with a new hairstyle, but you guys are going up against hook line sinkers with Dan Canobio. How are you guys going to approach him offensively? Uh, I think we've hit Dan pretty well in the past. Jack's new hairstyle is kind of like his super sane mode, so he'll be fine. Perfect. Back to you guys in the booth. Going to run over and talk to Jolly. Yeah, that hair is something else. Thank you, Paxton. I'm excited. I'm I'm actually going with the two hitters in this game. It's been Jolly Olive and okay. Zoe for We Got Eyes. And speaking of Jolly Olive, Paxton is with him now. Yes, I am indeed. Okay, Jolly. So, unfortunately, neither you nor Dan have hit Jack Doyle very well. I've actually done terrible in the past. So, how are you guys going to attack this We Got Eyes team and get to Billy's? You know, we're going to keep it light because Jack Doyle throws a lot of pitches. We're going to take what pitches he gives us and hopefully work some good counts, make him throw a lot of pitches. Maybe he'll tire out, and that's kind of our game plan, just string together rallies. We're actually going to make sure Dan hits this week. He didn't get to hit last week. That's my it. bad, but it's going to be a great game. I love that. Best of luck. Back to the booth. Thank you, Paxson. The Blitzball Blitz is heading to Billy's. We're doing this live in person. We've already sold a bunch of tickets. We've sold most of our early access tickets. There still are some available, but the Blitzball Blitz, it's sponsored by DraftKings and Scott's Miracle Grow. Go buy your ticket now at the link below to watch the semifinals and championship live in Billy's. We're in a location. You can be there October 1st in the Bronx. Doors open 11 a.m. Bring the family. Bring them all. Bring Bring everyone. Bring, bring everybody. Bring, you know bring what? Nona. Just bring your cousin. Bring, bring your, Nona. That cousin you don't bring even like that you much. want. And the thing about being in yeah. Billy's is the environment. You're going to be able to witness that environment in person. We're going to be there. We'll be taking pics. We'll be having good times. You'll be able to see Jack's new haircut. And we'll be able to see all the boys in action. Speaking of the boys in action. Yeah. We're it's getting about, going here. It's about time to do it. Jack Doyle, one of the legends in the warehouse. Jack one inning pitch, zero hits last week. That sounds like Jack Doyle. And again, not a ton of success for either of these guys, but here is Jolly Olive, and he takes ball one. Jolly's been locked in. Locked dude. in, locked in, locked in. But you know what? Not against Jack Doyle. <laughs> Nobody Shit. can be locked Jolly, in against no Jack Doyle. One, but Jolly Olive's three for 15, 12 strikeouts. 12. And this Jack Doyle does... Some of his voodoo he does on the mound. Jack uh, really looked like he didn't give a shit about the pitch he just threw there. You know, the hair's throwing me off. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I didn't like that at off. all, to be honest with you. The 2-0 from Doyle. Oh, jump throw, 74. Mm. Is that adrenaline? Is that the gun? Is it, what, what is that? 74. <laughs> if you're, you if you're New Year, folks, 74 miles per hour, no matter if it's yeah. in the zone or out, is a ball. Oh my Jack, Jack Doyle's again. 73 and he gives a so that'll be a ball 73 and up is an auto ball uh, Jack Doyle looking a little confused and there's the walk to Jolly Olive yeah I gotta be honest I don't know if this new hairstyle uh, is really doing anything for the guy because he just had the worst sequence I've ever seen him have in the warehouse well let's see how he approaches Dan Canobio because when his two seamer and knuckle drop is right he is a problem for Dan. Another 7-4, and Jack Doyle looks shocked. The guy's got to calm down. You got to go off speed or something. If 
he, he tried to tone that one down. It comes up 70 and a conversation with Zoe. And you could see the look of confusion in Doyle's face. He's kind of like, I feel like I threw that one kind of light and it ended up being 70 miles an hour. And Nicky, you were just on the bump. I was just on the bump. The gun felt okay. Yeah. Another 70. And this is something we have not seen a lot in the warehouse. Jack Doyle searching on the mound. You know... And there he is. And he gets one there. You know what I think? I think the hair weighs him down. Oh, wow. I you think, think he's more aerodynamic at the moment. He normally gets some hair. I think, he's, oh, wow. I think he's more aerodynamic at That's the moment. That's coaching people. Oh, just a disgusting pitch. 75, was that on the swing? That let's, was on the let's swing. Let's get a replay here. Zoe says 69 from the stands. We're going to double check. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. I had 69. Here we go. The 3-1 from Doyle. 62 bounces 62. in there. Jack Doyle right now just looks kind of upset. He looks Confused. like a little, a little upset, and I don't really like it. I, 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 I want to go over there and give him a hug, to be honest with you. And we've got a pivot pitch of this game. It's a 4-2 count, full count, and... Doyle paints it on wow. the inside corner, and just like that, Jack Doyle struggling to Jack Doyle first strikeout. And that is Dan Canobio's 11th 1-1 strikeout mm. against Jack Doyle. In I mean, just a, just a disgrace. Just a <laughs> disgrace. 11 Ks. Daniel can Dan, hear us. Dan he can hear us. He doesn't love it. Here's the pitch. Ho! Oh. 74 on the slider. And Dan, do you have anything to say to the booth? No, I can hear Cassano. I don't need to hear that right now when I'm in the zone. Thought he was my friend. Wow. Doyle, 2 and 0 to Jolly Olive. Yet to throw him a strike. Jolly's got like a fear factor yeah, to him he right does. now. He really, you know, he's got a look in his eye. And I tell you what, Jack Doyle doesn't. No. And there he is, right as okay. I say it. Okay. See, that's what I've been surprised with. If all your fastballs are fast, right, exactly. Jack Doyle, who has a thousand a th pitches. He literally has it. No, I asked him one time, and he said 998 <laughs> pitches he has. <laughs> he laughed. No, he laughed. 2-1. Oh. Misses, outside. Misses outside. 70, outside. 70 on that one. If I'm Jolly Olive up at the dish, and I got a 3-1 count against Jack Doyle, I'm honestly not relaxed. No. I, you don't but know what he's throwing. It feels opposite right yes. now. Oh. Nice pitch. Oh. Down and in fastball, 68 yep. miles per hour. It's got the plate the whole time. Jolly's over the top. Yep. Uh, just a little piece of information. Dan Kenobi left his phone up here on the booth, and his girlfriend just texted lost. She can't really follow along here, folks. But that's all right, because we can. And Jack Doyle plants one. 73, full count again. 73 on the slider. You gotta, you gotta dial it down. You have to. And 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 if he's throwing it this hard in the warehouse, fouls it off. 71. Imagine how hard he's gonna be throwing at Billy's live in front of a live crowd that you could be a part of. With yeah. the link in the description, go get your tickets, folks. Go grab those tickets. We're all going to be there. Yeah. We're all oh. going to be there. So much John Boy Media. Oh. Such a good time. A full count. Oh. And Doyle loses Upstairs. him again. And Lost Jolly again. Olive yet to get out this tournament. Say, My God. I, you know, I really like what I see from hook line so far. Besides the confident. Dan Canobio strikeout, I really like what I can see right here. Oh, that pitch would have been dirty. 64. Was that the knuckle drop? I don't know what that was, but like we said, Jack Doyle literally has a thesaurus of pitches, and he just decides to whip out the knuckle drop right there. Back in the uh, the one-inning league, Jack was... Oh. <laughs> and I mean, do you label that one pitch? Do you label that two pitches? I have no idea. I have no idea. And I tell you what, when he does that, I get very angry. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Right here. Boom. Pause. What are we doing? What are we doing? Will When's it pitch, coming? There it is. Will a pitcher ever do that in a game? Like, why not? If I'm a pitcher and I do that in a game, if I get up to the plate, I'm getting plonked. <laughs> it's a good point. The 1-1. One, one. 
Speeds himself up a little bit. 72. 72. Which, you know, he's been sitting 72, 74. And speeding yourself up there just feels like you're going to get your speed up more. Right. Oh. And there he is. That, I don't know why, honestly, he doesn't just throw that every time. It's got to be tempting, and maybe maybe he's trying to actually pitch and set him up. But, yeah, I mean, where that pitch starts and where it ends for Canobio, the lefty, near impossible. Near impossible. And that time, I think he tried to come around on it even more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and again, is that another pitch? Right. Because he's got, like, the fastball. Well, he, <laughs> he pauses. He steps out. He throws it regular. That's three fastballs for one pitch. Yeah. Tries to go with a low riser, stays on the ground, and we have another full count. I think that's three yeah. straight full counts. And that's where... Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. You all right? Jack Doyle? Oh, Jack Doyle. Oh, Jack Doyle. Oh, Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle. Oh, Jack Doyle. Oh, Jack Doyle. Back to oh, oh, Jack he Doyle. stays with it. Ian Jack Doyle. Let that hair raise, Let the Jack. Doesn't it feel right? It feels so right when that hair comes out, Jake. Give me this replay. Jack oh, Doyle. please show it to me. Pops it up in the air, stays with says, it. Says, I'm going to stay with it. Boom. And then the dive. <laughs> and then the dive. Now... Pax, can you go talk to him real quick? Can you ask him if he thinks he needed to dive there? Because I'm not, I'm 50 50 on it. Jack, we got a question from the booth. Uh, they want to know if you truly believed that you needed to dive in that moment and why. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you did need to dive. Yeah, Sports Center Top 10 still exists, folks. Okay, he wants to be on Sports Center Top 10. I mean, that makes sense. I get it. And you know what? That's a great answer. And I, I would have dove too. And he's got the hair back. I think we're going to see a different Jack Doyle when Jolly Olive comes up to the... Look at it. That's Jack Doyle. That's, that's Jack, Jack Doyle. That's Jack Doyle. That's, I don't know who that other guy was, but this is Jack Doyle. Give me a signature Jack Doyle slider here. And please. That would, it. that would get the place going nuts. <laughs> I've seen it too many times. I've seen it too many times. Oh, he's dirty. <laughs> 66, just a bullet. Low in the zone, Jolly Olive, no idea what to do. Goes back to a little more over the top. I think he snapped that one, ball low. Yeah. And now the unconscious Jolly Olive versus Harry Jack Doyle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can witness greatness here. First and second, two outs. Oh. 72, that'll be a but redo. That, that, but that, that's where he gets himself in trouble. But that's where he gets himself in trouble. That's sidearm, inside pipe, almost unhittable if it was 69 or lower, which it needs to be to count. The 1-1. One, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Knuckle drop. It popped up 77 that on the thing. swing. I believe it was low 60s. We'll Look get the this. replay. Get oh, yeah, good luck. I said low good. 60s. That was 69. <laughs> Knuckle drop. Good luck. It's my best Hitting fastball. It's unbelievable. I and now we've got two outs, two strikes. Huge. And Jolly Olive Jolly stays Olive. alive. Staying alive. And remember, folks, these are one inning games, okay? So right now we're in the top of the ninth. This is huge. Two men on, two outs, one, two count. Jolly Olive, it's on him. Let's see what we do here. Go back to the knuckle drop. I mean, to. that's that's an unhittable do pitch. Oh. Slider behind the back, still at 70. You know what it feels like before Jack throws a pitch? What's that? It feels like opening up a gift on Christmas. A little bit. You don't know what you you're going to no get. Idea. You have no clue. It's better than a box of For me, plates. people are 90%. Right. <laughs> 90%. Right. Right. 2-2. Two, two, two outs. Oh, that might I think have that to was, be I think that's a redo. A redo. I, I think I'm it popped up 71. I think, it. I think it was 77. 72. We were both slider. off. What are we're we doing? Off. You guys are so off. We it's not stink. even funny. <laughs> we stink. Just not using our eyes. 2-2. Two, two. Oh. 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 Hits Jolly in the know. hip. I we, saw a little pop there. We have a quiet crowd. I saw crowd. a little pop there. Let's get a replay. I saw a little pop there. Let's get a replay of that. Little pop. There it is. There it is. I don't there know. It there it is. That's a pop. I don't know. That's a pop. That's a pop. He gave him a pop. The refs are going to discuss. 
The umpires are looking at it. I'd love to get one more replay. Right. I can't believe it. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Here's the Here slider. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't going to hit the zone, but he did lean into it. So what's the official rule? You can't lean into it or it doesn't need to be a strike? That was not going to be a strike. I'm thinking ball. Wasn't going to hit the strike. Wasn't going to hit the strike zone. Ball. Well, there you have it. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't agree hey, with that at all. You know what I'll say? The umpires made a decision. What a stupid decision. I think, I think that could have went either way. It's 3-2. Oh, Doyle goes right lie. back at him and lie. gets him the old-fashioned way. Ball don't lie. And you see there, folks, Jack Doyle shuts it down. We got an 0-0 score here. And this one... Brought to you by DraftKings. NFL fans. Oh, yeah. Hungry for a big win this week? We've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, and they have you covered. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets. And sign it instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using promo code WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with the same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, no problem. You can still get in on the action with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Man, DraftKings, I, uh, this week, opening weekend of football. Unbelievable. We, uh, the fellas played a little bit of golf. And uh, we did two teams. Yeah. And the losing team had to pay in a bet. We did San Francisco first quarter. It hit. Everyone was happy. That's the best. It went from golf the best. to happiness to, happy. to wings. Yep. And you could do that at DraftKings. Let's get some replays from the booth. Look at this. Here's Doyle, that uh, final pitch. I mean, it's show to pop. Show to pop. <laughs> show to pop. Don't show that pop. <laughs> I mean, that's that pitch starts at him. It ends up not even being a strike. It's off. It's so zone. hard to hit. It's so hard have to hit. You, um, have you seen Kenobio? Oh, I've seen Kenobio. What do you see from him? I see a lot of good things out of Kenobio. I, for one, have trouble hitting him because he's a lefty, and it looks like the ball is going to go in his zone, and then boom, it's right out of his zone. Yeah. Yeah, I, you, you've you got a I, lot of the – I feel like you chase him away. Mm -hmm. I get worried in. Right, no. Because you don't – it looks like it's going to hit you. And the thing about Dan Kenobio is that he's getting ready to pitch right now, folks. And let's see, Jack Doyle leadoff, he has, he's four for eight with a home run and th four Ks. And a big uh, swing off the bat, 69 on the number, and old man Dan is in the warehouse. I mean, Jack Doyle looked like he was trying to cut through the air with that swing. Well, he's, he definitely is. He definitely is, so that's true. Oh, and and that it was. Just, it didn't even matter. 70 miles per hour, but Doyle takes it up the middle, and right you can the take middle. the result. Now that is huge because it's the bottom of the ninth here, folks. Yeah. A man on with no outs, an 0 0 count, and a hungry Zodemelia comes up. Look at this 70 mile an hour boom. He right doesn't care. Up. He doesn't care. He don't care. Here comes 7 7 Zodemelia. A little upset. One for four with a home run. Oh, wow. And that's when you know. That's when you know. Yep. Because I tell you what, a locked-in Lorenzo D'Amelia is a scary Lorenzo D'Amelia. And you know what you could see more of him? Is it at Billy's? I think it's at Billy's. It's at Billy's. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Billy's, sponsored by DraftKings and Scott's Miracle Grow. We're going to be live there. Make sure you buy your ticket today. And there's a strike, 70 miles per hour. It'll be a redo. October 1st in Billy Sports Bar. And you can bring kids, bring your family, bring whoever. October 1st. Doors open at 11 a.m. 10 a.m. if you buy one of the early access tickets. He goes with the slider. Zoe puts a charge into uh, it. Jolly can't get there. Solid effort. People would like to see him end up on the ground. But... So, uh, Zoe just came up to the booth and said something that I have no idea what it means. We'll take a look at the replay here. Dan throws the ball. Zoe hits it. And just out of the reach for Jolly Olive. Just out of reach. I mean, I'm a little biased because I left some skin on the court earlier. E it's a tough. I'm e not saying Jolly makes that play. But that's yeah. a single. It'll be first and second. And what Zoe told us was his finger ended up in his mouth after the swing. Okay. So, what do you do with that? Yeah, I don't know. What do you do with I that? I have no idea. How do you respond to that? 
Oh, my finger ended up in my mouth after the swing. Okay. One and oh. Nice. Runners on first and second. No outs and a run would win this game. Chopper. Oh, oh no, Canobio. Oh, he bobbled it. Oh, we've seen oh, Dan Canobio in this very it. same position, Paxson. We're going to need you to get out there because oh, we we've seen this it. exact thing oh, in Blitzball Battle. It. Dan, yeah. we've seen that exact uh, look, that exact what area. What is it about this I corner? Glory. I went for glory and came up short and needed to exercise some demons. Bases loaded, no outs. Fuck. <laughs> It's a good way to put it there. Look at throws the peach. Why does he get even. fancy? Why is he getting fancy? Just make the friggin' play. Yeah, the slide was unique. You wonder if Jolly's calling it or not. Um, you know, it when it ends up near the wall, that's always a little tricky, but the slide. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think that was necessary. I think you get an extra step there, get the hips in front of it make the play, but he's going to come back for revenge here against Lorenzo D'Amelio with the bases loaded. This is a huge moment, folks. This is the bottom of the ninth. Oh, and, and he hits one. and he paints one. The bottom pipe with his first and he pitch at 69. One. And look at that. That's paints at your it. knee and then it hits the gray 01. So smiling. Very <laughs> weird. Ooh, he goes oh. with the little slider that stays up and that's a Little tempting ball that. that's a tempting ball and up there thrown to me i'm trying to happy you're gilmore out of your that shoes. shit you're out of i'm your happy shoes. gilmore in it yeah tough pitch to lay off we got dan wow yeah you know what you know what jake yeah Lorenzo's locked the fuck in right now. Kenobio dropped down there, dropped a little slider, and I think team we got ice. Wow, Dan dials up 74 just to you know, show the though, people he still got it. Lorenzo don't give a shit if it's 1-2 and no. two or 0-2 oh or 4-2. and two. Lorenzo's ready to hit the ball. Zoe is Zoe. Yeah, I could feel it. Told you. And there it is. Game. A walk-off hit Game. for Lorenzo D'Amelio. And that's we got it. ice. And they get their first win of the tourney. Hook line gets their first loss of the tourney. Kenobio cannot record an out as We Got Ice takes the win. Nikki, give me your thoughts. I mean, just a classic game there from the We Got Ice boys. Jack Doyle gets on the mound. He shuts him down. They go up there, and Lorenzo's the hero with the stick. Just an absolutely amazing performance. Started out a little rocky, though, for Jack Doyle on the mound. Once he let the hair go, it was, it was smooth sailing. It was, and we thank you guys with our run in the booth. We're going to pass it off, but we're now going to pass it down to Paxson, who is with Jolly Olive. Yes, Jolly Olive. Tough loss. We saw a side of hook line that we have not seen before in this tournament. Walk me through that loss and what you guys just are going to try to take away from it and move on into the next. It's one of those games where things really just don't turn your way. You know, the fly ball an inch away. Dan muffs the grounder. We took. We, I thought we had some nice at-bats, but we really just didn't hit pitches that we should have hit. And you're playing two guys that are basically professional, so that's kind of what's going to happen. The balls are going to kind of fall their way because they've been there before. I think it's a good learning experience for us, though, because when we face a little bit of adversity, come back stronger in game three. I love that. Now, now get to the booth. Your partner's over there. Jack Doyle, come on over. We have to talk about the thing that, you know, the chat has kind of dubbed the Harrow Dynamics. Walk me through your choice to cut your hair and then show your hair. Um, it was just in my hat. Mm. I didn't actually cut it. It was kind of a prank. Um, I don't know. I just came to my head and I, it feels dumb to even talk about it. I just, I don't know, put in my bun. And then it was, I think it was cool. I'd like to see the footage. It came out like mid dive. That's pretty cool. It did. So, I mean, we could do a aerodynamic shirt maybe. I like that. We got some merch ideas, but last question on the actual game. Jake and Nikki actually spoke on your pitching and basically said it's like Christmas and they never know what's gonna come. Is that just something that you kind of just decide right as it's leaving your hand or you pre-plan that? <sighs> Yeah, I tried to be pretty loose this game, try some new stuff, and there was a couple of times where I'm like slider and then the last minute knuckle drop, and it's normally a horrible pitch. Uh, but sometimes it's good. Well, great win. I'm going to throw it to the booth. We've got, you know, Jack and Don over there. Guys? Oh, hey, guys. Um, what's going on in the chat? Uh, how's <laughs> everyone doing? Uh, haven't been hit like that since... Uh, I don't know, Jolly. I'm at a loss for words. I'm usually very chatty Cathy. You know, I, I had a lot of fun because I don't know when I'm always going to get to play. So getting to play is always a good Oh, time. stop with that. Oh, oh, oh. We just have another game here, today. You're just happy to be here? 
I'm happy to be here. I am. I'm happy to be here with you. No, that was tough. I, I feel like I coming. had my good stuff. Uh, I was, I was hitting pitches, zones. Man. I can't hit Doyle. This is the play of the game from, from Jack Doyle. I knew he was going to catch it. He tipped that in the air. I think it was in the air for about a million years. <laughs> I knew he was going to get it. A little bit of a, a, a showy celebration from well, they, Doyle. They but put on the theatrics. He, start, on. he likes to play mind games, not only like with his pitches, but like his mm. body language. He looked like he was like barely trying at first. And then that catch sparked him. And then he started throwing some unbelievably filthy pitches. Listen, our backs are a little bit against the wall. We got to win another one. But first, let's throw it over to Paxton, who's standing by with our standings brought to you by DraftKings. Thanks, guys. So this, uh, this board has already been updated thanks to our wonderful stats guy, John. Guys, right in the middle, we've got hook line. It's not, it's not looking bad. It's not looking great. So we got Love Yous ahead. We got We Got Ice moved up with that win against you guys. But hey, you're not out. Billy's is still a light at the end of the tunnel for you. So don't forget, DraftKings brought to you by DraftKings. Use code warehouse. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Paxton. Standings are starting to fill out. It's crazy, this thing. We've been looking forward to this tournament or blitz ball blitz for a long time and i look over there i see three wins for lovey so it's really yeah. starting to ramp up and i mean we're all doing this to make it to billy's at the end if you haven't got your tickets already make sure you get them now because they're going fast blitz ball blitz is heading to billy's for the playoffs thanks to our live event sponsors DraftKings and scott's miracle grow you can watch the semifinals and the championship live on october 1st in the bronx doors open at 11 a.m and the first pitch is at noon tickets are on sale right now through the end through the end of september september 30th and it's a bar but kids are allowed to so bring your whole family bring your friends general Mission tickets are $30. There's also 50 special early access tickets also available for $100. Get the seat you want. Get inside an hour early. Come hang out with us. Get a t-shirt. There's loads of fun in store if you get that early access ticket. Those are going even faster than the regular ones. So buy your ticket with the link below. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the games. I am excited for this next game. I mean, this there's a lot at stake here. There's 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 pride at stake here because we saw these two teams play twice in Blitzball Battle 3. And to say that those were nightmarish games would kind of be an understatement. A pair of all-time lowlights for a fan-favorite team. And Baggage is coming off a pretty heartbreaking loss. So I, this is a must-win oh, game. Baby. If you can even call a game must-win, this is the definition of a must-win game. Let's and let's send it over to Pax for more thoughts. Thank you, Joey. I'm down here with Jake. Jake, this is a must-win game for Baggage. Tough loss in this first one we saw you guys in. So Jimmy's taking the mound. Walk me through that thought process, and how are you guys going to pull out a win? You know, I think when baggage is at their best, I think Jimmy's tricking them on the mound, and we're putting up runs, and that's that's the biggest thing. We got to score, got to score to win. So that's uh, that's kind of the plan. Great plan. Back to you guys in the booth. Jake, sound a little hoarse. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he worked his ass off that first game, so he's got a lot cut out for him right now. But I think we have more thoughts with Paxton on the other side with Joe's of Pinstripe Strong. Yep, I'm down here with Joe's McFly. Which camera am I on? Am I on that? There we go. Joe's, you've got red contacts in. Is that going to change your uh, overall performance in this game? No, I can see. I'm good. How's Pinstripe Strong going to end up pulling out a win against Baggett? Uh, by putting the bat on the ball. Um, we'll just got to keep being confident, and then Lou just pump his strikes. That's all we got to do. I love that. Calm, cool, collective with Joe's McFly. Back to you guys in the booth. Let's see who's going to win this one. A calm Joe's McFly. Uh, some stats before we get started. Stats and predictions. Pinstripe off of Jimmy. Joe's is 9 for 15 off of Jimmy. I think Jimmy will be pitching in this game. He's got a home run. It was a walk-off home run. It's one of the funniest home runs I've ever seen inside this warehouse, Charlie. Yeah, and I mean, this is a big game for Jimmy because Jimmy needs a confidence booster after that first game, and I really think he can find it here with a gutsy pitching performance. We saw it in the second one inning league in the second game of the final where Jimmy comes back in that scoreless inning, hits the walk-off home run. He just needs a little bit of a boost, and then he can still be a really, really dangerous player. Uh, but he's facing kind of a demon here in Pinstripe Strong because Lou also has crazy numbers off him. Yeah, Lou will be pitching for Pinstripe Strong, I'm assuming. And uh, Jimmy and Jake are 8 for 16 off of Lou. Ba uh, Baggage really, really needs a win. I picked them in the first game. They had three of the most miraculous catches. I thought that finally the Blitzball gods were on their side. I'm still I'm rolling with Baggage in this one. How about I you? I got to take Pinstripe Strong. I've seen all lose new pitches. I think he's going to be lethal. But Baggage, you know, they got to convince me. That I hope they prove me wrong because they need this win big time. I think we're about to get it going, though. Here Pinstripe go. Strong, the away team. They're hitting first. Lou Dab, of course, leading off. Jimmy O'Brien taking the mound. A nice hug there. By, by Jake and Lou. Nice show of sportsmanship like that. Game three, moments away. Two teams that need a win. Need to get to that win column. Baggage desperately needs a win. 
Pinstripe Strong can afford to lose, but you know they got wins on their mind. Jimmy O'Brien at the plate, Blue Dab at the dish. Dan Kenobio, Jolly Olive here in the booth. First pitch, a bender from Jimmy at 52 miles an hour, low. And this is as tough of a challenge as Jimmy can get in his first batter. Basically the best hitter in warehouse history, the most consistent one for sure. Swung on and That's fielded it. once again. I'll tell you what, that Miami's is brought huge. their gloves today. Absolute. Jake's defense has been unbelievable today. He makes another play, and that's what Jimmy needs. Jimmy needs to get off on the right foot. Now he can conquer another demon in Joe's. All of a sudden, baggage could be staring down the barrel of a scoreless inning. I'll tell you what, when you're on the mound and you get a good defensive play behind you, it is such a boost. Here's the pinch stripe, strong contingent. I swear they're growing by the minute. Yeah, so I've noticed Jimmy's been dialing it back a little bit on his pitches to help with his control and nibble out those corners. Let's see if that pays off for him. Velocity is the name of the game. Two there. There you go. Top pipe. <laughs> Folks, the last time these two were squaring off against each other, let's ball battle three. The Joe's McFly with the walk off of all walk offs with the warehouse sign. The place went nuts. And Joe's leaving that high one. I thought he would have liked to take a hack at a slow high one, but I think he's being patient, being diligent, just trying to pass the baton back to Lou with the base runner on. Jimmy going from 52 to 42. Swung on and just foul. Umpire Justin Pennant got to watch out on this. Not exactly a hot shot, but Is good agility. Justin Pennant from Jumbo Media Football? <laughs> two, two count here. Top of the first, we got one out. Play by Story Alley. Oh, well, that is a that right, guys. I, I think swear it to God, Joe's. I swear to God, Jolly. Every time Joe's is up at the plate, something crazy happens. I've Check seen him do that run. multiple, multiple times. Was he hitting the face here? I believe he swang. What's the, he hit the bat? I th does he get his hands and then he's is it a swing? It that says it hits his so face. So many things. It was a could it be a foul tip, it could be a swing, it could I, be a hit by pitch. I genuinely have no idea. Here? Hit him in the face. Is that, is that so the ruling? Are they going to get a base runner out of this? Hit him in the face. So wow. That is a base runner. That's a huge that swing. That is not the way I thought that was going to turn. Kind of a devastating turn for Jimmy, who is looking more confident up there. Let's see if he can get Lou again. Wow. Dab sits and looks at a 51 mile an hour spinner from O'Brien. The thing that I love about Lou Dab is watch his his pause load here. He wow. does hesitation and he feasts on off-speed pitches. Good on Lou to bring the bat down there. I think that nearly nicked it, but he gets a, he gets a close call there. Jimmy's still around the strike zone, which is good. He's got a poor in strikes. Hopefully Jake can make a play behind him again. 1-1 one, one from O'Brien. Swung on and oh, Jake went the wrong way. He made the first step is crucial. He went the wrong way, Jolly. When it rains, it pours for baggage. Jake was in the perfect spot but he gets crossed up because the ball tails. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Listen, I've seen sliders from Jack Doyle, I've seen benders from Mickey Cass. That was a Lou Dab slider off the bat. No one knows the exact physics of the blitz ball. Oh, well, you know who does? Aaron, he's here. The and creator he of the here. blitz ball is literally I'm not even sure row. he could explain that. A tough break. Jimmy's got to maintain his composure. He, this is a must-get batter here. Big at bat, first and second, one out. This is the top of the ninth. These are one inning games if you're just tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us. You're watching Blitzball Blitz, presented by Draft Games. We got ourselves a great one. I, I believe that caught a lot of plate, but not any zone. Yeah, Jimmy and Blitzball Battle 3, if you guys remember, faced 19 batters, 10 hits, 5 walks, 4 outs recorded. So a lot on his plate to aid Jake today. Sitting around 52, 55, Jim. He's not really letting it eat, I think, on purpose. And I'm, I'm really impressed by the, you know, composure and the patience by Pinstripe Strong because it'd be easy to wail at these pitches. I'd be swinging out of my shoes. 55! I would have swung at that one. O'Brien finds the zone. 3-1 count. One out here. Top of the first. Two teams looking for the first win of Blitzball Blitz. They desperately need to get in the win column. Uh, Swung on, and that falls down into zone, from zone one. I think it's a foul ball. Yeah, you can really tell that Joe's has his best numbers against Jimmy because he just looks so comfortable at the plate. He does swing at a ball there, but yeah. I thought he put a good swing on it. Again, Joe's a 600 hitter in his career against Jimmy O'Brien, trying to raise that number right now. 3-2 from O'Brien. 
like that pitch from Jimmy. There you go. 65 on the gun. Jimmy dials it up. I think he was saving that for a big spot. Now it's a full count. A walk loads the bases. A strike gets him two outs. That's a beauty of a pitch, and that's a beauty of a take. I'm telling you, Jimmy right there, I've been there, man. That is a devastating, devastating feeling when you throw one of your best pitches, and it just misses that lower part of the strike zone. That's got to be one of the best breaking pitches I've seen Jimmy throw this year, and this has just kind of been the game for Baggage so far after that first ground ball. Three things have not gone their way. Talk about a precarious position. Jimmy O'Brien with... The base is loaded, staring down Lou Dab, one of the best hitters in the warehouse. Nowhere to put him. Foul ball. Big, Lou wants that one back. Big daddy hack from hey, a father of four. How about this stuff from our very own John Cox? The average pitch speed of Jimmy O'Brien right now is 50 miles per hour. That is a dangerous line to toe in the warehouse when you usually see 67, 68, 69. 44, that's going to lower that average down. I mean, listen, I know about lowering averages. I was a very bad student. <laughs> hey, leaving, leaving the past. 44 will kill your GPA. We have another, another me. game after this game. Jimmy, maybe this is a strategy. We'll see. Maybe it's throwing off their timing. Mm. The patience by Pinstripe Strong has been so... I know I've said it before, but to leave these... And I don't mean to be mean, but to leave these cookies at the top of the zone is remarkable. He dials it up. Listen, maybe the speed is kind of thrown off. I think he's trying to work it in as just like mainly throwing change-ups and then dialing up to see if he can catch him off guard. That's a really good pitch by Jimmy O'Brien. He's making good pitches. The velocity is, is might be a decision thing. We saw him rush it up to 65. If he can get Lou here. If he can get Lou out for the second time in his career, it opens that path to a scoring inning. 3-2. Tipped into the zone. Or did that go below? Let's take a look at the replay. They're looking like it didn't hit the zone. From up here, it looks everything looks like it I hits the zone. I don't think anybody thinks so, but it hit my that close. From where we are up in this perch, everything looks like it hits the zone. 51 mile per hour drop piece. Lou, I've seen him crush that pitch. Jimmy gets away with him. 3 2 from O'Brien. I think this strategy is working. I think he's fully thrown off Lou Dab's timing. Lou Dab sat. He waited. He looked at it. He delivered some mail parcels, and then he swung it. Only three of his 24 pitches have been above 60 miles per hour. Hi, three okay. of 25 now. Here we go, folks. This is Four it. Four-two count. A full count here in the warehouse. Five balls is a walk. A walk would bring in a run. Obviously, a hit opened this thing up. Full count from O'Brien. And he hits him. In scores, pinstripe strong. We have a one nothing lead with one out here in the top of the first. And I mean, Baggage has had a really tough time hitting, so they got a bear down here. This is a massive out to get. Let's see if Jimmy O'Brien is up to the task of getting out his demon, Joe's McFly. <laughs> his nemesis. Friends in real life, though. That's a ball. A home run here. This place, the top might pop off this warehouse. And you know, Jimmy is usually a guy that's very vocal on the mound. That's the first time I heard him bark today, so maybe that means he's in a better headspace. Good old fashioned dad bark. <laughs> here comes the 1 0 from O'Brien. Mm. Gotta let that one go. Jimmy looks like he might be losing it a little bit. I don't love the body language. I don't love the body language. It's 90% of the game is half mental. The great Yogi Berra. Gotta put up a united front no matter how bad your arm's hurting. Oh my goodness. That's, those are the. I can't express to you at home who's watching. Sure and Joe's understands the assignment, too. You know, pass the baton, get Lou up, let Lou do damage. Jimmy has to come to him now. He has to. There you go. 51 mile an hour, bottom of the zone. A 3-1 count now. Jimmy finds the zone. I think, I don't read lips. That's Jimmy's job. But I think Joe said, I'm going to kill this pitch. Could be wrong. And he looks at it, 53 on the outer half of the plate. Now I think he dials it up. He's got to throw a strike. Much major league. The old pitcher does all that stuff all over him. He just up a great guile. That's Jimmy O'Brien in this inning. Can he get out of it with just one run? Joe's about to drive into that one foul. Oh, it hit behind that first devastator. Yeah, Joe's has been hitting a lot of his pitches straight up. I swing at that pitch. That's a good pitch to it's swing a good, at. It might have peeled in for a strike, too. It's too close to take. Joe's has to protect the zone, but also be really smart here. A 
another full count. Full counts are brutal when you're on the mound. You got to imagine Jimmy's arm is feeling it, too. He's throwing a lot of pitches. Full count. Bases loaded. Top of the first. Swung on and fouled right into our booth. So Joe's, got John Sterling. Yeah. Joe's was ahead of that one. Does Jimmy dial it up here? 34 pitches now for Jimmy O'Brien. That's a lot with only one out on the board. 4-2. A strikeout here, two outs here for Baggage. If they can get out of this with just one run, Jolly, that is massive. That is the clutch moment we were asking for. What a beautiful slider by Jimmy. It does not matter if that's 51. That's a hard pitch to hit. He lives below the zone, gets Joe's fishing in a big pitch. Now he has to somehow get Lou Dab. This is, this is everything. Two teams that need a win. Two teams that are dying to go to Billy's on October 1st. Jimmy starts him off with a ball low and away. The difference between no win and one win is like the difference of across the planet. Because the oh, wow. feeling you get no, having one in far. the win column is pure elation. Well, and also, like we talked about this in the first game, Baggage hasn't won since a game since Blitzball Battle 2, August of 2022. They, they got to get a win. Get in that win column and see what happens. Swung on and drilled up the middle for a double. Lou Dab finally kept that weight back. It was only a matter of time, Jolly. Two on the board, it is now 3 nothing. I was going to say the strong. same thing. It was only a matter of time that Lou Dad was able to connect on one of those. He has such good numbers against Jimmy, a lot of doubles, and he hits it beautifully, just pure hitting right up the middle. Jake, of course, can't make a play on that one, and Jimmy's got to have a short memory here. It's three is still a doable number. You don't want to let it get out of hand. If you want to get this win, you have to be capable of putting up that kind of number. Leverage Joe's McFly back up to the plate. Last time he was up, he swung through a slow curve. Jimmy takes a big exhale. Second and third. Listen, get an out. Three runs is manageable. You don't want to, you, What you don't want is that five run in it. Right. And who's surprised? Jimmy lets that one rip. I think he might have heard something. Is he okay? Hopefully he's okay. I think he just lost the grip on that one. It is a little toasty in here. Not as hot as last weekend where you can barely grip the ball. Yeah. 2-0 <laughs> -oh count. Jimmy O'Brien. Second and third. Joe's McFly looking to extend this. Keep in mind, if you're just watching Blitzball for the first time, we have a run limit of five per inning. So a home run from Joe's McFly is not a three-run homer. It is in theory, but it would be a 5 nothing lead. 4-0 and oh now to Joe's. And Lou Dab waiting on deck once again. Who is shocked? He's four for five with two doubles already in Blitzball Blitz. Of course Those he is. <laughs> it's Lou Dab, damn it. 46 miles an hour up. Jimmy's, he's not right. I think Someone's that was wrong. a story out that come up to the mound. I think this is his inning to finish, and now he has to face one of the greatest hitters <laughs> in this warehouse's history once again. Joe's really doing his part this inning. I'm very impressed with his at-bats. Bases loaded, 3-0 so far. The pinch right strong contingent looking on. Jimmy O'Brien, gritty performance. And for our numbers people at home, Lou Dab now a 675 hitter in his career, a 1.841 OPS. Those are video game numbers. Super mega baseball numbers. <laughs> Go out and play the game and, and use me. The one up, swung on and another drilled shot. for another single. That brings in another run. It is now four nothing pinstripe strong. Jimmy, I think Jimmy thought it was five. And they're on the edge now. I mean, this was so close to being a nothing, nothing, one nothing inning. It looks like Jake Sterile is coming in. Jimmy gives up four. Got that big strike out of Joe's. Got a nice fielding play from Sterile, but he'll tell you himself that he's got to be better. So Jake tasked with cleaning up the mess. If by some miracle Baggage can put up five, holding them to four would be huge here. Jake looked really good in the first game against Lovey. has made some really key pitches and some really key plays. He gets to face Joe's McFly first, trying to sew up this inning. But it feels like just a minute ago, this was a one nothing game. Jimmy was in a big at bat against Joe's and he just lost him. Van Ernest in the chat said, Lou is the Barry Bonds of the warehouse. He might be. Best eye here, best stroke here. 
He's Mighty just Machismo. Up we'll always have the alley, Jim. He's told me about his uh, his softball league too. Apparently, he's teeing off there as well. Lou Dad. <laughs> Come on, is it, if the day ends with a Y, Lou Dad hits. <laughs> Swung on, aggressive Joe's, fouls it back. That First the offering from Story Alley. The foul ball into fist <laughs> on the head, that is Joe's McFly. Dude, the craziest things <laughs> happened to this guy. He's wearing red contact lenses. Earlier in this inning, he took a ball off the face that he swung at and foul tipped somehow. <laughs> like, it, the guy's electric. The 0-1. Oh, okay. Beauty of a pitch, running nice in over pitch. the hand. Beautiful pitch by Jake there. His his fastball really has some run inside today that I think it just didn't have last week. And he looks sharp up there. That's a nice pitch. I love that pitch, for Jake Soriano. Starts middle, middle. You got to swing at it. Do you think Jake should have started this game? Yes. If you're using him now in 4 0, then it feels like you should have got the ball. But it's too little, too late. You can't think about that. Got to think about getting this strike. Keep it at four. Here, avoid that five spot. Swung on, hit into the light. Joe's McFly loves hitting balls straight into the air. And how about Jess Story Alley in chat saying great pitch for her man? Love that. Listen, Cannot get my girlfriend behind to watch every these great streams. man is a strong woman. <laughs> Big pitch here for Jake. Let's see if he can finish it up. The one, two. Oh, oh my goodness. That looked like shades of last week to you, Jolly, when he just missed and the next pitch was sent, driven, a walk off. <laughs> good pitch, good take there. I mean, Joe's has had some really good takes today. The two, two from Story Alley. It's the beauty of a pitch off that sidewall. Wow. Alley makes another play. Oh my goodness. The theme of today has been baggage making plays. Jake has been having an unbelievable day. Unbelievable all, action here at the warehouse, right, Jelly? And all of these festivities are brought to you by DraftKings. Right now, NFL fans hungry for a big win this week? Well, we've partnered up with the DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the National Football League, and they have you covered. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using promo code WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can also get their skin in the game with same-game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, no problem. You can still get in on the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings, they're really clutch for making this whole thing come together. They've been with us for a while, and it's such a dream to be able to play Blitz Bowl in this warehouse for fans in the first place, so shout out to them. It is a trip. Uh, a good inning there from Pinstripe Strong to put up a four spot. Baggage up and down. I thought Jimmy had some great pitches. I thought he obviously got hit a little hard there. But to wiggle out with four, not five. That, that five is debilitating. It's it's It's... Sad almost. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy's final line, two outs, four runs allowed, four walks, and a strikeout. It doesn't tell the story of how close some of those pitches were, how close he came to really sewing that up. But, you know, Lou Dapp, he did give up some runs last week. He wasn't perfect on the mound against Lovius. He had one inning pitch, two runs allowed, three strikeouts, and four hits. Very hittable, which surprised me. Jake and Jimmy need to have a hitting performance. They've yet to put up a run in Blitz Ball Blitz. We need to see a crooked number. I need to see confidence from Jimmy. Put some really good swings on the ball. Get back in this thing. Fight for a spot at Billy's. That's what we're all fighting for, to be at Billy's Bar on October 1st in front of you guys. All right, bottom of the first, essentially the bottom of the ninth, in steps Jake Storielli. And he looks at a first pitch strike out of the arm. 63, of how are you? My goodness, right at him. I think with Lou Dab, it takes him a little bit to warm up. Me and Lou are from the same age bracket, you know? <laughs> you, you start to get a little loose, like, so 62, 63. Next thing you know, he's hitting 69, 70. The 1-1 one, one from Dab. And, you know, Lovey has jumped Lou pretty early last week. Let's see if Baggage can do the same here. Set the tone for what is, like you said, the ninth inning of this game. Bottom of the first. It's a one-inning league. Instant drama. Three and one. Ba base runners are everything for baggage. Work counts. 
Get the counts into your favor, then do damage. That's how you win in Blitzball. A beauty. 68 with a big time run on it. 3 2 count here. Bottom of the first. Chat is going wild. Need some offense from the frog, he says, Brian Feingold. Jake Storielli, a 500 hitter, 5 for 10 against Lou Dab, could use a hit right now. I just think, like, yeah, like a screamer off the wall, like a hard hit single, I think would ignite baggage a little bit. I think a walk is just as good. You of course. Need to set the inning pace on the right foot. Jake, this is a huge pitch. 4 2. Outside. Baggage has a pulse, folks. Up steps Jimmy O'Brien, 3 for 6 with a double against Lou Dapp, still looking for his first hit in Blitzball Blitz, now 0 for 5 with four strikeouts. This is a big moment. I don't have a hit either. Hey, that's all right. I think you're a great hitter. Thanks. <laughs> I need to bring my A game next game. We're playing Love Yous next. You know, this game really isn't about you right no, now. No, it is. No it is. It's all about me. I have a vlog going. Down. All right, here is Lou Dabb going up against Jimmy O'Brien. Looks at a 67-mile-an-hour first pitch strike from the Dabberino. This is a good pitch by Lou. I would love to see some aggression by Jimmy, but there's not much you can do with a two seam that looks like it's going to be in the lefty's batter's box. Could Lou find that momentum, that rhythm? He's a rhythm pitcher. Jake, excuse me, Jimmy with a defensive swing shoots that one into the pinstripe strong delegation. Yeah, pretty similar pitches here. This one tails in a little bit further in on Jimmy's hands. He fights it off, but now he's in a big hole. An 0-2 hole. Here's the pitch from Dab. Low. I love here's the pitch from Dab. That's so funny. Mr. Dab. <laughs> I, I know his last name. I'm not going to put it out there. It's Dabarino. It's Lou Dabarino the third. Hell he comes yeah. from a long line of Dabarinos. Royalty, some people call it. The one, two. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Ducks out of the way. Yeah, Lou's getting funky with his arm angles, trying out a lot of new things in Blitzball Blitz, trying to make himself a better man for the inevitable Blitzball Battle 4. Yes, that's coming. You know it's coming. Who the 2-2 two -two is coming as well. Hits Jimmy in the fleshy part of the thigh. Any Sopranos fans out there will understand that reference. <laughs> okay. The 3-2 from Dabarino. Upstairs, he's, he's wild, he's erratic. Ooh. When he gets in that rhythm, he throws nothing for strikes. It takes him a little bit. It's like an airplane taking off. It's a little shaky until they hit that cruising altitude. The 4-2. Outside. Baggage. This is their heartbeat. Hey, that, folks. This is it. That's it's really beating. big, man, because Jimmy had a rough first game, and these guys need this win if they have any shot of getting to Billy's. Blitzball Blitz is heading to Billy's for the playoffs, thanks to our live event sponsors, DraftKings and Scott's Miracle Grow. Once again, make sure you get your tickets at the link below to watch the semifinals and championship live on October 1st at Billy's Bar in the Bronx. Doors open at 11 a.m. Bring the whole family, bring your friends. Maybe you'll see these two teams facing off once again. Upstairs, and shout out to Tom Ace, who understood that. Si uh, Sopranos reference, Bacala was a marksman. <laughs> I'm speaking a foreign language to those that have no idea what I'm talking about. A 1-0 count, Story Alley, runners at first and second. A big swing here with two wonders. They've watched a couple of those two seams peel into the middle of the zone. I'm hoping they're, they're starting to see it a little bit better because Lou is just throwing it all over him. Really. Enough at that plate, and if you're thinking up there, you're, you're, you're screwed. Don't think, just swing. I want to see BB1, Story Alley. He's thinking, he's thinking. Those are great pitches, but he's just thinking too much. I mean, that is a beautiful pitch by Lou Dab. Probably his best of the inning so far. But hey, Jake is a good two-strike hitter. I need him to protect here. Recognize the two seam. Let's see if he can do it. Low. A good take there from Story Alley. A 2-2 count here. It's 4-0 pinstripe strong. They put up a four spot in the first inning. Baggage has to punch back to avoid falling to 0-3. Swung on and foul back. That was a Good swing. Not a great swing, but a good swing. And one thing we haven't mentioned yet, waiting for them next week, is we got ice. That is no cookie to try and get a win in your final game. This Tough. is a big moment. It's wait, Jake's wait, that foot. Could, that can come back fair. It's a foul ball. It went off his foot. I couldn't see yeah. that. Sorry. Getting old. My vision's going. They're, get, they're really good at fighting that inside pitch. Lou hasn't been able to get it for a whiff yet. A laser off the wall. A home run. A single would do wonders for baggage. The 2 2. Swung out of there it is. What a moment. A double off the back wall. I told you this place would erupt. This place would erupt, and it did. I feel like we are.
seeing BB1 Jake that was a reincarnated. Run, An absolute laser. I excuse me. That was a three-run home run. Look at the swing he for Soriali. The place erupts. Three runs on the board, and just like that, baggage is right back in the game. That is an unbelievable swing by Jake. Just laying out the bat, doing whatever he can to make contact. And Jake has that weird swing where if he gets a good barrel on it, it rises, and it gets just above that home run line for a huge hit. Baggage's first runs of the tournament. They need one more to stay alive in this crucial game. There it is, right over that ledge, which is a home run. The chat is going wild. Jake Dingarelli, that's a home run. Frogs, crazy as F. I messed that up. I love the first I love the swing. swing by Jimmy. I love, love that swing. He, I want to see more aggression. That's a great first pitch swing. He likes that high pitch. Man, did Jake need that? Did Baggage need that? Did the company need that? <laughs> Swung on. Oh, Foul. It hits off of a light. I like these swings from Jimmy, but the only problem is you're down 0-2 now. Jimmy knows he should have had that one. I don't think he's going to get a better one than that. Now he's got to protect. The 0-2. It hits, hits him right in the shoulder. You can attest, 69 square in the back from Blitz Ball, that does not feel No, good. it hurts. Those balls hurt. Um, It'll sting. It's not a bad stinging. as a four ball, though. One two pitch here from Lou Dab. Three runs on the board from Baggage. That's wow. where you want to live. That's a good spot from Lou. I'm surprised Lou hasn't gotten that inside pitch yet. This is a really good take by Jimmy because that's a tough pitch to lay off. Starts in the middle, tails in. He doesn't bite. No outs. 2-2 two, two pitch. Floated that one up there at 63. Dabs pissed. Lou Dab doesn't have an out yet. I mean, that's pretty remarkable. These have been great at-bats by Baggage. He's got to be starting to feel it a little bit. Does Baggage have some magic in them? I Does Baggage so. have some magic? Can they exercise the demons? Oh, a big <laughs> swing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. When I'm, when I'm pitching and, and a batter reacts like that, to one of my pitches, I get offended. Yeah, does that make you mad? Yes, it does. When they say it's that made me mad since high school. Yeah, I get that. I totally I used to get hear that. it all. Like, look at Shorty on the mound. He's too short to throw. <laughs> and then I dice him up. That's right. Shout out to West Hampton Beach High School, 05. The 3 2 from Deb. Outside, Jimmy. I'll tell you what about Jimmy. Last week, this week, his eye has been good. He has yeah. worked count. Yep. Does he have a lot to show for it? No, but he is working at bats. It's a good pitch, good take, because Jimmy swung at a couple high ones. That one was too high. And he this leaves. is big. This is big, Jolly. 4-2 pitch. Upstairs, it brings up Jake Storiali once again as the winning run. How did we get here? It feels like just <laughs> a minute ago, we were talking about baggage staring down the barrel of 0-3. Jake's the winning run. There's no outs in the inning yet. You guys, you heard of a New York minute? How about a Blitzball minute? <laughs> Did we just coin that? Yes. Trademarked it. Another good leave on the inside corner. I think Jimmy's telling him to let him throw. Let him throw. Yeah. But Jake's hot. Guys, I'm, I'm beginning to think this might be the rivalry of the warehouse. Oh, I agree, Paxton. It's my favorite rivalry. It's my, my favorite game of all time. And I've been here since Blitzball Battle 1 was baggage versus pinstripe in BB2 when, when Joe's hit the walk-off. I mean, these two teams have been the artists of so many fantastic games. They're doing another one right now. Chad is going absolutely ballistic right now. Appreciate every single one of you as Lou finds the zone. Lou Dab working. He's sweating. Ain't nothing to him. Yeah, Dab told me last week he started throwing harder, and that's when he found the zone later in the game. Another one. I'm telling you, Lou Deb is a rhythm pitcher. Just like that, he can get into a rhythm and peel off like nine strikes in a row. My goodness, that two seam just moves, man. Collapses in on you. Let me set the stage for you at home. There's a runner on first. The winning run is at the plate with Jake Storielli. He hit a three-run home run earlier in this winning. They need a win. Baggage needs a win. That's a big timeout from Lou Dab. That's the same swing that Jake had for the home run. Yes. I don't blame him for swinging. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's, That's a, a good pitch by Lou because it looks like it's going to be one of those two seams, and then it just dives. It dives down. It's not what you're expecting. Lou doesn't make the same mistake again. Gets Jake out this time. Jimmy with a big at-bat here because now the momentum can shift pretty quickly. Bottom of the first, this is a one-inning league. It's essentially the bottom of the ninth, and Lou Dab starts Jimmy off with the high fastball 0-1. He's starting to find it, and Baggage cannot take another heartbreaking loss like this. <laughs> I mean, how many heartbreaking losses can you take? Whoa! 
big swing on that that two seamer that runs in right under the hands. It's such a good pitch. All of a sudden, the strikes are pouring in <laughs> from Udab when he couldn't find the zone for what 15 minutes. He's a rhythm pitcher. I'll say it again. Take a shot every time I say it. Get that bat down, Jim. Take a shot every time I say that too. Yep. I mean, Lou's got more confidence than basically anybody in this building. He is not rattled. The one-two from Dab. Swung on and fouled into the fan section. Jimmy staying alive. Might staying be Jimmy's alive. best swing of the day, too. I know that was a defensive fight off, but it looked like there was some hunger, some anger. In and when that you get swing. plastic on the ball, it feels good, mm. no matter where it goes. There nice go. swing there from Jimmy. He lines it up to keep it moving for baggage to pass the baton. First and second now, Jolly. You can't understand how big that is. That's Jimmy's first hit of the tournament. It gets Jake back up, not in a two-out scenario, where he can ease back, relax, find his pitch, and see if he can get Lou Dab one more time. A double ties the game. First and second, 4-3 ball game. Bottom of the first of a one-inning league. Two teams looking for their first win. Up and in, oh, uh, excuse me, one and oh. Two teams looking to punch that ticket to Billy's on October 1st, where you can watch us play live inside one of the biggest bars you'll ever see. It's huge. This game has been an absolute roller coaster. The amount of momentum shifts and teams just seizing back the rhythm of the game, it's been remarkable. And now it's back in Baggage's favor, it seems. Good, beautiful take there from Story Eye. There are such things as beautiful takes here. We celebrate takes mm. just as much as we celebrate hits. The chat, I'll tell you what, is. They're all going nuts for baggage. There's they a lot of day a ones. Baggage win. A lot of day ones in the chat. And you know what? I think Lou's being careful with them, which I think is smart because Jake's swinging a hot bat. He's got a great eye right now. Lou has to come to him, but the huge. bases might be loaded. This is it's huge. It's a huge pitch. Nice. Go for your bread and butter. Would you have swung? No. No? Not with first and second, not with one out. <laughs> that's uh, the straightest pitch. Ah, that's a great pitch by Lou. I didn't see the location. That's right on the inside. It had movement on it. It wasn't fully straight. Thought it had more glass. That's a good yeah. take by Jake. You can't swing at that one. But let's see if he swings at this one. 4-1 count. Swung on and up in the air for a minute. Caught. That's devastating. You know what? It had to be Jimmy's moment. If they're going to get back into the rhythm of where they were, it has to be Jimmy's moment. Jake's done his part today. First and second, 4-3 ball game with two outs in the bottom of the first, which is essentially the bottom of the ninth. It's a hell of a take by Jimmy. Low, says Jimmy. Everything from this angle looks like a strike, so I'm no, going like, to no, reserve like. judgment until we get a better look at it. Panic wants another look. I'm, I'm fairly it's certain bottom I got leg. the leg. That's that black part of the leg. Yep, it's close. It's low. But yeah. So one and oh. Jimmy O'Brien has had a great eye. He's coming off his first hit of the tournament in his last at bat. How about this? Lou Dab at 46 pitches now. Oh. That bat down. Brought the bat down. I mean, I think that would have hit. That was pretty close. A double ties the game. A home run ends the game. Gives baggage their first win since 2001. <laughs> 67, a dot. That was mean. <laughs> Jimmy's seen one. Let's see this pitch again. Yeah, he's working in that riser a little bit now. A little bit of rising action at the bottom of the zone. That's a tough pitch to barrel up. 2-1 from Dabarino. I like that pitch from Lou. Elevate the eyes. I have to go low and away next. Mm. I like Jimmy smiling up there. It looks like the edge has been taken off. He understands the situation, but... Story out, he's locked. Yeah, he's cocked. He's locked. <laughs> Jake wants this one bad. Danny Elliott says, a Jomint. Oh, Ajamant? Ajamant. Ajamant. A John Bowman? High goes just sort of straight up damn. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> damn. Yeah, man. Imagine how they're feeling. The 3 1 from Depp. Oh, the upper part of the zone. And folks, this is what it's all about. I want claps. I want claps. I want claps. I want claps. Clap. What a moment. 3 2 pitch. Jimmy O'Brien up. Baggage needs this. The 3 2. Swung it's up. up! It is caught okay. by Zo! Unbelievable catch by Zo Damalia! <laughs> Sorry, just practicing for my next call. Oh my goodness, this was close to being it. That's a hittable pitch too. Outer edge where you can get the barrel on it. Luke kind of got away with one. If Jimmy O'Brien hits a bomb. 3-2. Swung through, 
Eight stripes strong. Picks up the win, 4-3. They pick up their first win of Blitzball Blitz. And for Baggage, another debilitating loss. A crushing loss, really. I mean, they I really thought they had this one. They, they seized the momentum. Jake finally gets that big hit he's been waiting for. Jimmy made better at bats, but Pinstripe was the better team in the end. Lou maintains the composure and finds a way to get those three outs when he had none in a one-run game. I know we were put a lot of emphasis on baggage and what they were doing, what they needed to do to win, but let's talk about Lou, man. Getting out of, wiggling out of that, giving up the 3-1 bomb earlier in the inning, and then he's able to wiggle out of it. Paxton is standing by with Jake Storielli. Jake, that was a hard-fought game by Baggage. Walk me through that heartbreaking loss. God, that was a uh, lose, lose a dog, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that 4-1 pitch, I saw it, and I, I just got under it, and that, I think that changed the whole inning. So, I don't know. I, I mean, we, <laughs> we really fought today, but we lost. I know we're going to hear more from you when you're in the booth. Go ahead, get in your spot. We'll see you in a bit. Lou? As they hug. Lou, that was a close game. I think we're kind of dubbing pinstripe baggage. It might be the rivalry of the warehouse. Walk me through that win. It was tough finding the location early on in the game. They did a good job not swinging at anything close. Uh, they had great uh, plate discipline. It made it very difficult for me to hit certain spots and for me to be comfortable, comfortable on the mound. But we kept fighting. I knew on the offensive side, we got to get runs against these guys because they're a scrappy team. So I, I know when you were out on the mound there for the first few pitches, Jimmy and Jake were seeing you really well. They were sitting on a lot of stuff. There were a lot of, a lot of patience from them. How did you end up finding it and start hitting that strike zone? Well, pressure situations, I kind of thrive in them. So, you know, I... I just focused up, really locked in, and just said one thing to me. I got to make it a Billy's. I got to make it a Billy's. And I was able to follow through, and the pitches started coming uh, out, you know, the way I wanted it to. So, Last question. Are we going to ever see Joe's McFly on the mound during this tournament? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, perfect. Back to the new booth. We got one more game, guys. It's going to be electric. Thank you, Paxton. A new, new hobby of mine is joining the booth with the team I just lost to three straight times. Joes, how, uh, how was all that for you? That was great. Can we talk about that absolutely not real quick? No. I don't know what that's about. We all agree that that's the right move. I mean, if we clinch, I would like to pitch one game. Let's see. Here's Lou. God, that's nasty. That's a blitz ball. That's the last pitch. My God. It's insane. That's, that's underarm. Comes up. Looks like it's going to hit the top of the zone. Hits the bottom of the zone. What's what do you see in I mean, Jim's reaction there? I mean, it was for us in that moment. Um, after you hit the three run homer right up the middle, you went away. You went for it. Um, that was crazy. I, didn't, I thought that was going to be a double. But the thing is, is that uh, I told him, hey, we just scored one run. Just figure it out here. You just scored one run and uh, rein it in here. You got to lock it in. You guys, you guys work some good at bats, man. Man, let's uh, let's send it to Pax for the standings. But I may not watch. Standings brought to you by DraftKings. And yes, Jake, it is a little heartbreaking for you. We don't have all of the stats yet, so we can't confirm that Baggage is out of Billy's. But this is a big game for Loveyas because if they win this game, they're a lock going to Billy. So a lot of pressure on Nikki and Dalton. So let's see what they can do. Don't forget, brought to you by DraftKings. Use code WAREHOUSE. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Paxson. And just a reminder, this all winds down at Billy's, Blitzball Blitz, heading to Billy's for our playoffs. Thanks to our live event sponsors, DraftKings and Scott's miracle Grow. Come watch the semifinals and championship live on October 1st at Billy's Sports Bar in the Bronx. Doors open at 11 a.m. First pitch is at noon. Tickets are on sale now through September 30th. Kids are allowed. Bring your whole family. General admission tickets are 30 bucks. 50 special early access tickets are also available for $100, and it'll get you inside an hour early at 10 a.m. You can choose your seat early, commemorative t-shirt. You're into a raffle to be a part of our content. We're doing some Jolly Olive videos. We're doing a whole bunch of everything and an early access badge. Go buy your ticket now. Let's go, man. I, I can't wait for this next game coming up right here. And, man, the road to Billy's is awesome, man. So you already know it's going to be awesome. We have, right now, we got 
we got um we got hook line and we got love i mean nikki's going undefeated he's going for it all yeah the love this is their final game of the regular season uh nikki actually is going away and we're going away right now to pax and elrod down here with jolly jolly love is the team to beat in this tournament if they win this game they've got a lot to billy's but i know you guys are going to pull out a win how are you going to do that you know, Dan's a little worried about his pitching after sitting for a little bit, but I feel great about this game. You know, we get to see Nikki and Dalton. They, they're kind of the head honchos right now. I bet they're feeling a little good. Hopefully we can shock the world, pull out our second win, and go into next week feeling pretty good about ourselves. Best of luck. Back to you guys in the booth. I'm going to go find Dalton. Thank you, Pax. And, man, Jolly Olive is on an absolute heater. I love his energy. I mean, he's been having great energy this whole time. Uh, doesn't need to pitch in this one, so he's just out there to hit. And he has been hitting, and so has been Dalton Feely with Pax. Dalton, Lovia's got a big game ahead of them. They got to pull out this win. How are you guys going to end up beating Hookline? Because offensively, they've been pretty locked. Yeah, they've been locked. Jolly's got a great bat. Dan's got a great bat. We just got to get to Dan early. You know, Nick had problems with him in one inning. Uh, I think we're going to change that. I think we're going to hit the ball as hard as we can, put up some runs, no pressure in the home half. Love that. Best of luck. Back to you guys in the booth. Let's see who wins. Joe's my my biggest thing with hook line and Dan Kenobi on the mump is he's the only lefty. We don't see yeah. a ton of lefties. So the more pitches and at-bats you get, if they drag out that inning, that favors Lovius. Who do you have? I mean, I do have Lovius. I think they're undefeated. Well, they're undefeated, they're undefeated right now. So And they're locked in. These two games are actually working in their advantage. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm picking Lovius here. I'm going hook line. I think they're about to announce themselves fully to this tournament. Uh, and if they hold them in the first, that the, the home team can have a big advantage. Can have a big advantage. We are about to do it down in the warehouse. A special shout out. We just ran around, saw a ton of our crew. It takes a ton of people to put this on. It's like half of our company. Thank you to everyone. Hopefully we'll hit them again oh, at yeah. the end. But for now, hitting is Nikki Cass. Pitching is Dan Canobio. Woo! A little paisano in the warehouse as we get it started. Starts him off with a slider. Joe's did that hit. I mean, that's. I think that, that, that was a good take. I mean, did it hit the bottom of the zone? Hold on a second. Let's see here. Can't really see there. Is he? He didn't go. No swing. Didn't go. That's no swing and blitz ball. You need to come past parallel with the plate. That's. And you know what? The intensity just picked up on a check swing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One zero. Kenobio bounces that signature two seamer. See how long it takes for him to find it out there. Up and in, ball three. It's a little bit of a challenge for the older pitchers to get warmed up in the beginning uh, of these games. Joe, I'm telling you. You don't have to tell me. We've had a couple conversations <laughs> about the quick between innings. Fouled off in our zone one of the warehouse. Any ball that hits a wall or ceiling in zone one is foul. It can't be caught off of the wall behind Nikki or the hitter. But if it goes off the ceiling or the sides, it still can be caught. Oh, yeah. Kenobio fires in. I think it's that little cut slider he's been working on. Uh, and that'll make it a 4-1 count. He's got to come at him. Mm. Bounces it up there. Nikki Cass draws the leadoff walk, and that'll bring up Dalton Feely. Good at bat, good at bat, man. I'm telling you, working, working the count and getting base runners are so important. Dan, Dan, the boxing man, is searching for the zone right now. Good shot of meathead Nikki Cass there. I love yeah. this view right here, man, right behind the zone. Doesn't get better than that. And that'll be 2-0 to Dalton Feely. And you He's see searching. Dan just threw out his arms. <laughs> Looking for something. Old man, Dan. Every time I look around. 
And there it is. Oh, and you see Dalton's reaction. Joe's, you know that feeling. I, I know that feeling all too well. I don't know if pitchers like that at all, actually. You gave a similar reaction to one of my curveballs, my <laughs> first pitch. <laughs> Should have hit that, man. And there's Dan. Man, one strike in Blitzball can change your yes. whole energy. Big time. 2-2 two, two count. We've just seen Dan's, basically his two pitches. Let's see if he's going to go back to slider. Ooh, that almost looked like a changeup, Joe's. It does. Um, I think right now Dan's got him set up for that two-seamer inside. Throw it, yeah, throw it right at the hip, Pop. Wow, what a take by Dalton Feely. That looked like 64-mile-per-hour slider came all the way mm. across the zone. Now you have to go to your bread and butter. What a take by Dalton Feely. Low and away. It looks like it's going to hit the corner. Darts down. And two walks for Lovius. I, loved, I, I like the approach there from Dan. I feel like he's, he's zoned it in now, but he tried to go away and paint away, man. Almost got that. I trust your pitch, you know? He's, he's doing a lot of funny business that's not his regular two-seamer. You wonder if that back is acting up? Mmm, mm. that old back. Yeah, mine is. Wow, and there, again, outside little cutter. Just kind of, you're expecting that ball from him to run off the plate, and instead it oh. comes back. Nicky swings through it. That's a scary pitch, though. <laughs> if he finds that, that's the next level to his pitching in the warehouse. Nicky Cass takes it and drives it the other way. That almost looked like that changeup again. Yeah, it was like a changeup. We're two seamer away. I didn't think it had the velo on it, but Nicky did a great job going with it, man. Hit it where they ain't, Joe. Who said that? Apple tacos. 69 bases loaded for Lovias. No outs. And my goodness, Joe, if they put up a big number here. The intensity builds. What a take by Dalton Feely. That's normally where he likes it, too. I, I think that high ball is kind of his specialty. This team is taking, like, they're up 3-0. Oh. Man, when Dan has needed a pitch, he's gone to that little cut slider. Some late movement. Dalton fouls it off his foot, and it's 2-1. <clears throat> oh, man, Joe's, I don't know. That two-seamer just seems to be a little lost right now. He can't find it, man. That's his pitch, though. He no. needs that. We, we need used it. to joke that was his only pitch. 3-1. <laughs> and, yeah. See, that's... So frustrating. On so, mind. blitz ball pitching, which you and I are experts on. Yeah. It's, I think it's even worse when you're missing everyone. Like, it, right now, he's low, he's high, and that's the first run of the game for Lovias. There are no outs ooh. on the board, and this team is starting to look like a wagon. You know, I'll be honest, uh, Jolly's job right now is almost like therapist. When, you're, yeah. when your pitcher's struggling, man, you got to get in their ear, get some positive thoughts in there, bro. And Oof. there's Dan. There's Dan Canobio, 67, top of the zone. That's the Canobio I know. <laughs> Canobio I know. <laughs> Oh, 70, that'll be a redo. That'll be a redo. That's tough. But, I mean, I think that's Dan's best pitch. He's, he's got to, you know, you got to take the positives right now and the negative. Man. Come on, Pop, you got this. Those are two good ones. Let's see if he could build on it. Oh, no, and that's a bad feeling. That's a bad feeling. Not, not if you're Nikki. Not if you're Nikki. Nikki, you feel, oh, Nikki missed that ball. Oh, wow, that was my lot. <laughs> Looks like he's waiting the garden hose. There we go. Oh. Outside pipe, and Nikki swings through it again. It's an 0-2 count. Oh, yeah. And see, I think Nikki was feeling good. Oh, yeah. Now he feels like he's at strike four. I think yeah. he's now feeling bad. Dan aims it a little up. Yeah, but you know what? I think that's a setup pitch. Oh, go change. down and away right now. Change the eye level, oh, yeah. huh? Oldest trick in the book. Ooh. If that was a little more in, Nikki Cass wanted to swing at that one. Oh, you got fastball in if you got it, Pop. I mean, if you got that, paint it. Pipe them up. Ooh, Nikki Cass stays alive. Fastball up and away. 
uh, which can be a very dangerous pitch in the warehouse as well. Oh, yeah. Way to protect the plate, though, Nicky. We'll do the 2-2 two -two again. And that was 71. It would have been a redo anyway. Warehouse rule 70, 71, 72 are redos, but Nicky fouls it off. Redos? Are... And he's pitching. He's been living high. If he could hammer down and in, that feels like a weak spot right now. Redos are like free cuts, man. Yeah. You get those free cuts, you can line them up a little bit. It's just a, just a chunk of relief. 3-2. Wow, and what an <laughs> bat we've got going now. 3-2 count. Kenobio's cutter gets fouled off that time. Dan is playing a dangerous game. Everything's been up, Joe. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, I think <laughs> down and in right now would be a great spot for him. Oh, oh wow. wow. Contraire, hey. mon frere. Mm -mm. Dan Kenobio climbs the ladder, and you can come climb the ladder with us at Billy's in the Bronx. We're, oh no. Oh God. Don't show this replay. I've been there. This is, the ball moves a lot, people. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it moves that much. Blitz Bomb Blitz, sponsored by DraftKings and Scott's miracle Grow. You can get your tickets today. Code Blitz, you get 20% off during the stream. Get your tickets right now, right now. All of us are going to be there. All of John Boy Media. We're hanging out. We're having fun. October 1st, mm -hmm. Billy Sports Bar in the Bronx, 11 a.m. Bring your whole family. I got a text from David Rifkin today. Him and his son are coming. Let's go. Let's get How nice Pre-game shots, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Feely swings through it. It was 72. I believe that was on the swing. I think it was 60 on the pitch. It'll be 1-1. One, one. Feely puts a charge into it, but it hits the zone one beam. That means it's a foul ball. Oof. Oh, Dan's walk. Are they that? hugging up? Oh. What's this about? Are we pushing? Wow, that's great. Joe, can I tell you something that's interesting? Here? What's that? It was bases loaded, no outs. We now have one out and two strikes. Anything can happen. If Dan gets them here, you've changed the whole energy of the warehouse. Wow, what a take by Feely. <laughs> what? That's a show take, Bob. Oh! Comes between him, the strike zone, and his hands. It felt like... Wow, 74. Is that the swing, the pitch? I, I don't that. know if... Does Dan have that? Got wow! That. Oh, that's great. Auto ball from Kenobio. You got the old out the elbow. That's power like Tyson! <laughs> wow! And Dan is now strutting. Joe's... A couple of minutes ago, we didn't know if he could locate his fastball. Now he's peacocking. He I'm, looks like Josh Hader right now. I'm telling you, the older pitchers are taking a little while to warm up. Once they get ready in this game, then they start to lock in. Look at that. I mean, two of the more, I mean, hey, my team is winless. Two of the more embarrassing strikeouts we've seen this blitz. And he's back at it. It's 71. It'll be oh, a redo. Dan's locked in. Uh, I think yes. he's got it. He's got it. I mean, that's a gross pitch, man. It's got some late sink to it. <laughs> Drops down inside. Man, I would think that would be a good pitch away, but it seems like he's getting it in on the hitters. Yeah, I think they're giving up on that. They think it's going to, like, land inside. Wow. 73. Tell Ali I'm the greatest. He's too warm. <laughs> he got too warm. <laughs> he got too warm. <laughs> he was... <laughs> He's okay. Says he's a glitch in the matrix, which Ooh. doesn't make sense. Blue Blows a kiss. a kiss. Family, girlfriend. 75. And okay. See, okay, see, Joe's, we might have went through the sweet spot of being warm to now we're, I don't want to say cooked, well, but we're hot. Jack Doyle has not gone, gone to the strike zone to go check it out and make sure that it's good and accurate. Another ball high from Kenobio makes it 3-1. Pivotal. Pivotable? It's a word in my book. Hitter in this game, massive pitch. And wow, Cass goes and chases the high pitch. Mm. If you can get your barrel on that, that goes in the warehouse, but could have been 4 1. It's 3 yeah. to 2, two outs, and he can get out of the inning. Oh, man. 
Good take. She's so close. Speeds up. <laughs> Let's see. We've got bases loaded, full count, two outs. Goes at him and he gets him. Wow. What a comeback by Dan Canobio to hold them to one run after loading the bases with no outs. They only push across one. Wow. Tape your cap. Tape your cap. That's such a great job for Dan there, man. One run is such a win right there. It's massive. I mean, you're a base runner away from a walk-off. And you could be a bet away from having a really good time at the DraftKings Sportsbook NFL fans. Hungry for a big win this week? We've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, and they've got you covered. New customers can bet just $5, and you'll get $200 in bonus bets instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Sign up using promo code WAREHOUSE. Welcome to the WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with the same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not available in your state yet, no problem. You can still get in on the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And Joe's McFly, here comes Nikki Cass. Hey, He's been, oh, and there's Mitch, handsome. Only Reds fan at the company. Beautiful face. Now, Mother Nikki and Loveyas have been having an incredible tournament. Mm. Dan is one for four off Nikki. Jolly, two for eight. Six Ks. So, uh, Nikki Cass with a chance to close out what's been a remarkable Loveyas regular season. And there's the patented slider. Oh, yeah. That, that slider's from? so tough. I don't know. He broke it out now, and he's looking unhittable. He's so tough. 1-0. I mean, that pitch is sidearm rising up and in. Jolly takes it, man. Jolly feels like he's really in control of the strike zone right now. 2-0. Charlie is a big approach guy, man. He really is. He's up there looking in the zone, and he's zoning him up, and he's trying to get a pitch to hit. That's what he does so well. And it's a game of chicken with Nicky because that slider has become so effective that he's going to it a lot. Not there. Not there. That looked like a changeup almost. That he kind of got it away. So Nicky actually throws a changeup. He takes a little more off of it to get more run on it, and it can throw you off as a hitter. And there, that pitch, he threw it, hit the strike zone, turns to Dalton. Watch this, immediately. Mm. <laughs> right away, just looks at Dalton. Let's Three, him two. Spits on the slider. We haven't seen the slider in the zone yet for Nikki. And we've got four, two, full count. Leadoff hitter dictates the entirety of the inning. a spicy meet the ball. That's Just nasty. Sometimes in sports they say that announcers should let the moment breathe. Oh. I think everyone that saw that oh. an announced everything that needed to be said. That was disgusting. What do you do? It just, it looks like a ball all the way, man. In steps up Kenobio. And there's the slider again, and I don't know if you could go away from it. If I'm done, if you want to aim for that slider, you could if it's up in the zone. I think he'll have the best shot to hit it. He tried to go with the knuckle drop there, which I like as a third pitch for him, but when you're throwing the slider and the fastball that much, that's a tough pitch to oh, yeah. just locate. I don't know, Joe's. <sighs> I don't so know. He's got Canobio looking and, in, looking out. I mean. He's got him in the mix, Master. One, two. Oh. oh. Just changing the eye level, man. That's just high IQ that's pitching. 
That's just you high IQ vision, guys. Don't, don't worry do. about it. I don't think you do. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, my God. High IQ pitching. Oh, my God. A prayer for a 72, and it oh. wasn't. Um, Look how, can we do another replay? Look how much that ball moved. It's just, it, this it's, is middle of the plate. It almost oh, hits his back foot. Just, that's so tough. And Dan's not even used to seeing something like that at that angle either. Do we have a Cy Young for this league? I think we might have to create one. Are you sitting, Slider? If Nikki's looking like this, what's your approach? That's tough. That's the thing because I think you gotta sit slider almost because he's not throwing the other pitches. When I was facing him, I was sitting slider. Yeah, and it was just to. like if there's anything else, try to react. But oh, stop. no, I mean, come on, Nikki, Nikki, that's not fair. I mean, that's not fair. Look at this. I don't know, I, I don't, man. I, I don't know. Nikki's out. I don't know. Whatever, man. This is. Disgusting. One one. A little knuckle stays out. Nikki Cass currently ranked the number 13th blitzball player in the world after tonight's performance. I don't know the blitzball guy is in the in the warehouse today. He's he's scouting and he likes he what he scouting. sees. That's a really good take by Jolly Olive. That yeah. would have changed the entire game. He actually said, the blitzball guy actually said, that's the nastiest slider I've seen. It's so tight, it doesn't make sense. Jolly Olive, fastball away, and Jolly Olive oh. saying he's having his own tournament. <laughs> gets the crowd going. Nikki goes fastball here, and Jolly gets around on it. Such a great at bat from Jolly, man. Putting the bat on the ball, staying alive, and I love it. Let's go. And you know what was massive there? The pitch before. Slider just misses off the zone, gives him count leverage. And now Canovio is in slider hell. See, that's the one I think Canovio needs to aim for to shoot the other way. Man. So tough, though. It looks like a ball. And he wanted to swing. And I don't blame no him. No swing on that. No swing. Catches Canovio in the foreham, he says. 71 on the pitch. And yeah, I don't. N wrist never breaks there, yeah. never comes through the zone. It's 1 1. Okay. The setup. 2 1. 2 1 count. 2 1 count. Yeah, I'm. You just sit slider and hope it doesn't turn as much. Okay. Oh, Joe's. I'm ready. I'm always ready. You didn't move. That's what he that needed to do. That almost hit us. Oh, you didn't flinch. I did. I I had every reaction in the game. And this could be the final pitch of the game. <laughs> Man, you are... Dan Canobio putting all of his algebra to work there. Oh. Trying I don't know, Pythagorean theorem and angles and... It's a great take. That takes his ball. And Joe's... The other side of this, if Dan runs into one, it could be a walk-off win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. People like the high ball. Dan almost offers at that one. It's a full count. Runner on first. Might be one nothing side. game. Love Yous is a strike oh, yeah. away from running a perfect blitz ball blitz tournament. Watch out for that back foot slider. And Kenobio swings over the top of it. I thought he might have gotten the Don't tip it. on it. Yeah. But from his reaction, he clearly did not. Mm. A knuckle drop to end it. Wow. Love yous with an undefeated blitz ball blitz. Wow. Nikki Cass was unbelievable. In these four games that they had, I haven't seen him pitch better in this warehouse. I mean, we can tell by the standings, which we'll get into, but he was awesome. His slider's great, and that just bodes well for Lovey as going forward, man. Paxton, Nikki Cass is usually feeling good, but he's got to be feeling really good right now. Yeah, Nikki, what an absolutely incredible performance by both you and your teammate Dalton. Talk me through that victory. Where are you guys at? First off, shout out to Hook Line. They fought very hard. They had a lot of good pitches. Dan threw a lot of good pitches. Um, Dalton and I are just in sync right now. Feels good. Uh, we, we, we really want to come in here and get two, two wins today. 
we uh, snagged the first place seed and it feels great. Congrats on the first place seed. Dan, you're up next. Come on. Damn. Wow, nice exchange, and here's Dan. The way she called him, it was like a perp walk. <laughs> Dan, that was a hard-fought game there in the first when you were out there on the mound. I thought you didn't have it, but you ended up finding it, and you locked in. Talk me through that strategy and how you ended up locking. You say, I thought I didn't have it, did not have it. Had to find something deep down within. Didn't feel good at all today. Ice got me in that first game, and I realized I just have fun. Go out there and throw a ball. We're playing blitz ball for everyone out there. Uh, just came up a little short. Nikki is on fire right now. That was, those pitches were filthy. That last one just missed it. But I feel good about our bats. I feel good about Jolly. I found something there on the mound, and we'll bring it to next week. We've got to win next week. All right, back to you guys in the booth. Hookline sure does have a formula. It's been working for them. Phillies in the Bronx as you watch the replay of that last pitch by Nicky Cass. Goes to his third pitch, wow. flashes the heart. You can see that live in person at Phillies, sponsored by DraftKings and Scott's miracle Grow. Buy your ticket now at the link below to watch the semifinals in the championship live October 1st. Billy Sports Bar in the Bronx. Doors open at 11 a.m. or 10 a.m. if you get those early access tickets. Bring the whole family. It's going to be an absolute blast, as was today in the warehouse, Josie. It's awesome, man. I can't wait to see you guys at Billy's, man. Pre-game shots. Let's take them. Pax, give us the standings before we tee it up next Thursday. Standings brought to you by DraftKings. Joe's knowing the shots, but this is what we've got after two days of blitz ball blitz. We've got Love Yous in first. Pinstripe, you guys coming in close second. And Baggage, you guys are you're, you're down here. I'm not going to point that out. So, don't forget, Dang. brought to you by DraftKings. Kings use code warehouse back to you guys the love you boys go over and admire their place in the standings they're for sure at Billy's I don't know if technically anyone else is everyone no, else is sitting at one win oh, so yeah. if I think there's gonna be there's always a little bit of drama in the warehouse boy will baggage need a win next week what uh give me some of your highlights from today Joe's I mean, biggest highlight from today, if you want to talk about this game in particular, I thought that, you know, Lovey is getting that one run was huge for them. Going 4-0, oh, they really wanted that. And uh, Nicky really solidifying himself as the best pitcher in this warehouse right at this moment. Lovey has had a hell of a run in a couple of the blitz ball battles. Um, they look as good as ever. Um, Joe's, I have to give you guys a little credit, man. Um, the look in Lou's face when he got that last out. Lou wants to play ball at Billy's Absolutely. in the Bronx. We have one more week of this. Next Thursday, 5 p.m., we will see you here. Thank you to all of our crew. Thank you to all of our players. Thank you to everyone in the chat. And we will see you next time from the warehouse.